Welcome back to Shady Harbor with me, Little Fox. I'm gonna check the audio quickly. With me, yep. Audio works. We are good. We are good to go. Oh my gosh, what bad timing for another. I, but I don't know if you would call Andrew Callahan leftist, but like, what the fuck? What bad timing for cishet white men, am I right? <laughs> uh, I really enjoyed his content. Uh, this sucks. This really sucks. You know when you really enjoy something that someone creates, and then you realize that they're a piece of shit? So, well, I mean, like, not necessarily. Obviously, they're just the allegations. But it's similar to, like, my content. You, When you realize that I'm a piece of shit, and you really enjoy my content, and you're just like, damn, I really like Lucy. Didn't realize that she was, I don't know, um, a weirdo. But, yeah. I remember watching his content back when uh, it was all gas no brakes but it just goes to show that like it's not leftists that are failing men it is a society which perpetuates certain standards for gender roles really it's basically what it is but yeah we're back. Gonna chill for a bit. I'm gonna drop straight into the drama. And then are we here? Are we good? Again, I'm still waiting to hear back about that fucking debate. So, yeah. just gonna wait for this to load, and then away we go, and then away we go, away we go. Da -da 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 -da. <sighs> I'm starting starting my search again as well for the 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 one vine that I'm trying to look for. It's the one where they've wrapped up the uh, the the bush bushkoi. Boshkoi? Boshnoi. I can't remember how to pronounce. It's a type of Russian dog, but they like wrap him up and then just like, or wrap her up. I don't know what the gender of the dog is. Who the fuck cares? The dog don't care. Dog don't care what gender it is. And they wrap him up and just like, Mashallah, it will be nice to her. She is not married yet. And it's just like, I, I cannot find this. I cannot find this meme. And I want to find it because it's one of my favorite memes of all time. Just because it is. But yeah, let's uh, let's blaze through this. Because I don't want to spend too much time on um, actual Elder Scrolls Online this morning. I just didn't have time to um, do it last night. Because I had more important things to, uh, to do. Like, much more important things to do. Than to play video games. It's just how it be. Alright, so they're all for... Except for this one, dagger. Yeah, 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 the three. One, two, three, yeah, 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 just do the dagger. Burner, burnish knife. Oh yeah, I need to, uh, craft the shit. Oh, Mashallah. <sighs> I just love it. But that, 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 that's one of my favorite uh, phrases at the moment. Yeah, definitely. So the research is still going. That's going to be another two days. Let's craft some craft. Some cheesy craft. Oh, I need to open that program as well. It's 
Sorry if everything starts getting a bit weird and janky for a second. I just opened like three like um, high resource uh, programs at once that I forgot to open up. No big deal. But yeah, I woke up this morning, went onto Twitter to search up, uh, to try and find those, uh, videos. But I know I jo- I- I may make a joke, you know, no gas all right, ah, ha, 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 but, uh, it is a serious topic, so... I will treat it with... Like... I'm more, like, I mean, it's too late to be, like, appropriate now, because that's not really an appropriate joke to make, really. But, um... I will approach it better in the near future. Five days, ten days. Ten days, ten days. These are all ten day ones. They're all ten days. Hendies. <laughs> oh, it's because it's still got two. Pew! Craft. Craft from that shadow hide. I also want to level up my clothing today if I possibly can. I don't know if I'll be able to, but it'd be nice to be able to, like, yeah. I just want everything leveled up. See if I get any more Ritz. Jera. Jera. That's an alchemist. Give me a Jera. Thank you. Craft that thing. Alright, how are we doing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yep, all down. <sighs> Whee! Pleased to see you in solitude, Ugh. stranger. Fenra. I've been here for like months now. all of them. Let's get that horse stuff. <laughs> Muffin tops. Okay, 42, 21. Cool, that's done. Pleased to see you in solitude, stranger. Fenra. Thank you. Zabi, I need your assistance. Hey, done randomly. I'm well, how are you?
Do you hate babies? All babies, they are simply poop machines. But you gotta hate the sin, not the sinner. Stuck with four kittens and hoping to find them a foster home. Oh, I'm quite sure that can be a lot of work. Have they opened their eyes yet? I, don't, I can't remember how long it takes that, for that to happen. Aww. Little blind kitties. I really want a puppy. I've just been, like, thinking about... Aww. Hmm. Oh, I forgot to do the things. Oh well. Do 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 do. Really got to smash through this uh, stuff. The the, the 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 grind this morning. Even if I just um, pick up the, the writ quests and uh, do them later, as long as I've picked the writ, quest, writ quests up in the morning, then I can re- uh, even if um, the quests reset in the afternoon, I can still pick up the afternoon's ones as well. Uh, yeah, all they do is cry, eat, and poop. I mean, that's basically, like, humanity in a nutshell, right? Gosh, I'm so close! So close to getting my clothing leveled up. Oh well. You're only adapting past baby stage. Also, can you let me know um, if you can hear the... Um, the message tone? Like, see, I have an audible tone to let me know in someone's message because, like, for some reason, my brain is dumb and it doesn't notice the words on the sc screen. That's cool. Because I try and run it on a different audio channel, but sometimes it can be a little bit finicky. Well, I mean, if you don't know, then it's probably there. Not there. Alright. Alkahest. 78. 78. Ooh. 98. Oh, what you up to? What you doing outside? Who's looking after the babies? Wait, you let the the, the cat you, you let your cats outside. Oh my gosh. 
I guess things are different overseas. Over here is just like not a, it, it's not something that you do. <laughs> yeah, over here cats cats are a absolute like ecological nightmare. They kill so many, like, native animals, and, yeah, just fuck up the eco ecosystem. Very true. No mice. Well, th that's the problem. A lot of our native species kind of look a bit like mice, and, and cat don't care. Cat don't care. Hmm. <sighs> Yay! So, oh, cool! It's silver weave this time. I don't need to worry about collecting it. Woohoo! That means that it's gonna level up to level forty, and I'm not gonna have to worry about that shit. Cool. Nice. What about um, my woodworking? I forgot to check. Nope. Woodworking is perfectly fine. Oh, it's an easy day for me. I heard that Duke Sebastian was a werewolf, want to so make some him. gold, Walker? Missing recipe. Oh, provision right. I think that's all of the ones that I can do. Yep. So you had to dry you dried off the pigeons and wrapped them out in the towel burrito. My two adult cats were looking your way, so you had the burrito <laughs> burrito. Mashallah. Sister Kitten is a perito. The the ten year old Ms. Muffins ran away. The, the five year old Jacks went up to smell me before walking away because they stinky. <laughs> Cute. She wasn't a fan of her mother, but still. Mm -hmm. I don't think I got anything useful out of that. The Ritz today. Empties. Hmm? Local animal shelter can't take them yet. Oh. Too many kittens. I mean, like, over Christmas as well, it's gonna be, like, all of the shelters are gonna be, like, full- more full than usual because people, like, do the whole giving pets as presents thing, which is not really a good idea to do. 
at all. Like, definitely don't do that. It's not a good idea. Oh, I mean, like, room-wise. Well, please, listen to me for just a moment. It's very important. No. If you're in the... Ah! Wrong way. Okay. What do um, you want? Yeah, he wouldn't wouldn't do that here. That would be a very bad thing to do. They would, yeah, they would just kill natives. I need to get more skill points. My clothing. More skill points, mashallah. Hear ye, hear ye. The Iron Hand Ogres have been driven back to Shinji Scarf. But General Godron warns they remain a serious threat to all Stormhaven. Send that chase birds out of trees and retrieve the hunted birds. <sighs> I was supposed to do something with Polymorph before I logged out. Just trying to remember what it was. Do 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 no 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 A lot of fishermen that bring cats on their boats and fishes. You see, like that that that'd be good. Can't kill any native animals on a boat. No. Do I level up anything? Can I level up? Level up. Level. Ooh, level up my blacksmithing. When is that like? Who knows? Metalworking is leveled up. Clothing is pretty close, actually. That's what I will do. Lizards and frogs. Oh, I mean, like, but that's not like as big a problem as like I'm talking about native species, like endangered species, like cats make things endangered here in Australia. Oh, I only have some clothings. Oh well. Bloom. Alright, I need to get get her uh, some more um, skill points. Do 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 Master Gatherer. Untamed aggression. And rejuvenation. Oh, yes, commit. Your main at risk species are alligators. <laughs> well, you would pick a species which goes higher on trees. That's awesome. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I, I think maybe the alligators might win. What might win? <laughs> uh, I think I cooked some chicken earlier. Oh, let me just check. I always forget. <sighs> Be right back. Um.
I gotta admit, it does not look very, very, like, appetizing. I'm just gonna put it over there and, and not eat that mess. Yeah. Well, I can't think of anything else that would have, like, done that. <gasps> One of these days, I'll need to level her up. One of these days. <sighs> you call that speed? I've seen dozing Argonians move faster than that. Bitch. Searching. That's got another day in it. The main issue with alligators is human captivity. Too many raise them in bad conditions, and that causes them to be undergrown because they hope to sell them to people as miniature miniature alligators. I, I... why why that's just why that seems like a ridiculously silly thing to do. A fucking alligator- miniature alligator pet. What the fuck? Y yeah That's so fucking weird. We- we- human beings are the fucking weirdest shit. Honestly. Yeah, like... But even breeding them to have dwarfism, like, it's just fucking... Uh... Spot, let's go. I know good work when I see it. That's good work. I don't need you to tell me that. Just this, don't breed defects and health risks into animals. Doesn't matter if it's cute or not. Care about their health and safety. Yeah. Also, like, don't get alligators as pets. Because... You're fucking... Dumb. Yes. Monkey pig cutlets. Okay. Pig cutlets. Okay. White meat and bananas. Oh, I, I see, I see. It's like... Because there's bananas in it. What a weird thing, though. Alligators are hard to take care of. You can, I know some good alligators and professionals, but again, professionals. Yeah, I guess. Just seems like a strange thing to do.
get that last bag. The main alligator is a slight uh, albinoism, so it wouldn't um, survive in the wild. Really? Why is that? Is it because of the sun? I'm just wondering, just imagining someone rubbing, um, rubbing sunscreen onto a uh, white alligator. Hey, shame! Welcome back. Ah, yes. Wait. Who are their- what are their predators? You call are there alligators? Yay, now I've got the full thing. I've got the full inventory. All of my characters have full inventory now. I can just, like, save up gold now. <laughs> this one keeps your sleekest for- I'll do that after doing the house. Come on, Spot. Mainly other alligators, but I've also large cats, some turtles, large snakes. Wait, turtles eat alligators? What? It's one badass fucking turtle. Holy moly. Goodness gracious. Great balls of Jupiter. Snapping turtles, damn. Snapping turtles just spooky. Hey, where's the where's the where's the lady? What the Oh what? What the hell? What was going on there? Alright, uh, Azabi, that gives you the rest of my gold. Has need of a Snapping turtle biting off your forearm can slice your arm off. Yeah, remind me not to hang out with snapping turtles. They sound like dicks. Yeah. What a really rude thing to do. No wonder they don't have any friends in the wild. Yeah, that chicken looks nasty. Alright, we got one more character to do. Oop. Pick up those mats. Back in with the 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 my, my, my runs and hexes. Yeah, runs and hexes being the best. But yeah. A shame I looked up that stuff you mentioned yesterday about Andrew Callahan. You do stuff stream derail. How do you derail a stream with with a parasocial streamer? Like, parasocial, being parasocial is like, fucking, my job. That's, 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 that's my, that's my brand. Derailed? I'm ADHD. I am. There are no rails. There all are no rails. All gas, no brakes. Oh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm just, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm... Smashing my way through the grind, the morning grind, and then we'll go into it. Yeah, basically, um, it's gonna... Yes, 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 I uh, woke up this morning, went onto Twitter to try and uh, look up the videos that I saw um, regarding Andrew Callahan, and uh, first thing I saw was uh, Polly uh, tweeting about uh, the debate. So I really hope um, that helps, um, that that lifts Polly's profile because I know that uh, she's been streaming for fucking ages now and like, if anyone deserves more um, exposure, I like Polly. People might 
people might disagree with me, but like, I guess most, I, 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 to, to a certain extent, I agree with Polly people, um, in the sense when she says that people who disagree with her are just generally just wrong. <laughs> and honestly, I just fucking love that attitude at the end of the day. Sorry, not sorry. That's, that, that, that's, that's a good attitude to have when you're openly trans online. Finster. So yeah, Finster I'm aware of as a streamer who he he, he dresses up um he, he cosplays. He cosplays. Um and I'm not sure what the fuck is wrong with that. But um I'm interested to see. I don't know I don't have any background on uh, what I know that Keffel's made a video about it. I don't know which probably more since you had, had each other on stream. Yeah, Polly's pretty cool. I really want that debate to happen. Not with Polly. I mean, Polly would be fun. To, is is fun to debate with. Oh, Finn is doing a bit. As far as I know, yeah. But like, normalize wearing, normalize letting men like cosplay as women I, I don't see any like in in a in a vacuum that's no problem but I don't know what other things Finster does as well as that obviously context is the most important thing there and I don't have that yet I'm hoping watching the uh, debate today um, will give me that context but if not, I'll have to go in and look up more stuffs. Oh, dang it. Dang, damn it. What are we doing here? So, that one's got three. Yeah, full three, 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 three. Impenetrable. Impenetrable. Yep, alright. Impenetrable of the next thing. Just need to polymorph to make that. Like they never not be femme now, but they always openly say that they're a man, he, him, and not trans person. Yeah. Well, I mean, again, I have absolutely zero problem with that. I would like to normalize the abolishment of like expected. If we're wanting to force feminize them, uh, secure the bag. <laughs> Yeah, I need to, I, I, yeah, again, like, I, I, as long, like, my problems would be if, um, Finster is, like, pushing a, you know, like, talk, like, you know, uh, the, the fucking trap narrative and stuff like that, but if it's other people imposing that on him, I don't really see why I should have a problem with Finster, like, in particular. Like, yeah. Thirty k every week. Yeah, fuck yeah. Thirty k a week to to call someone daddy. Fucking hell, that's that's good money. Jeez. They're, they're like that's just that's just normal that that's just normal sex work. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. I think that I, yeah, like, uh, uh, to be uh, that comfortable with your, yourself and your sexuality, that's fucking awesome. But, I don't know, I might be missing your stuff. That's the thing. I My understanding is bereft of, uh, what do I call it? I used the word. Context. That is it. That is the word I was looking for. Impenetrable uh, gloves. I'm just gonna create this one just in case. This artist the dress up as a girl and shock people when I talk videos, but they don't ever not be fem anymore. It's like essentially lives as a trans woman that didn't change pronouns. Again, 
you uh, what yeah i mean that's interesting like i i again like that to me in a vacuum is, is not an issue for me like have you said but like you know you know um you know like fucking uh is it trixie mattel no fucking who am i thinking of from the ung like Instagram, like I've only seen um, them in their uh, drag as their drag persona. <laughs> so it's just like, yeah, if it makes you money and if it's something that gives you gives you joy, yeah, just fucking do it. I, I, yeah, I. I... As long as there's no nothing else like sus in the background, you know. You know, there's some really good, um, um, what do you call them, like, the fake breasts that you can buy for drag and stuff. They look really good. And if you're good with your, um, foundation as well, blending it in, like, um, is, isn't too big an issue. Too expensive for my tastes. I, pre I prefer to just grow my own, grow my own bears. And my own muffin tops. And my own. I am disgust, disgusting. I just wish my voice wasn't so low. That's my biggest thing. Like my voice and like um my if hey hey yo, it stop stop trying to attack me for being trans. That's never going to get on. Um, that's never gonna like. Uh, like be a decent troll to me because like I'll throw it back in your face. It would be hilarious um, If you really want to attack my insecurities, it's it's my Adam's apple and my voice go wild uh, it's People not hate trans femmes like some say it's like Elvis stealing black rock and roll. What the fuck? I'm sorry, but I'm sorry, but gender roles do not belong to, to you <laughs> To, who, to whoever thinks that, like, gender roles do not belong to you. And another person's, another person's, um, uh, way of expressing their gender does not belong to you. That's so fucking dumb. That is turf logic, I swear. I'm really interested to, to hear what uh, Polly and Keffel say and, like, which side they're on. Don't, no spoilers, don't spoil it. If you've watched it, don't spoil it, because that, because that, that, that makes that, that'll be really interesting. There's also an interesting date debate coming up in a couple of days from on uh, the Crucible server uh, or the Crucible um, channel. I've um, got a POC um, person um, against uh, an apologist, so uh, as in using trans femme aesthetics while let, letting people have their gay fantasy. I mean, that's just sex work. That that's literally, I, I I that's what I do. That's what I did. Like, you have any idea how many gay old men seek out trans trans uh, sex workers in order to like get around the whole idea that you know being gay is wrong. Like that's a huge part of being a trans sex worker. And like, even if Finster doesn't say that they're trans, like fucking who gives a fuck? Gender, gender is self-identification. Yes, it is informed by culture and society, but at the end of the day, you are the one that gets to decide your gender, not anyone else. <sighs> I don't know. It just seems like... It just seems like... Yeah. I mean, like, there's obviously, it's obviously easy to be jealous as well, because, like, Finster has an amazing um, um, ability to do makeup in a way that uh, feminizes him, like, really well. Like, they are successful and understand the struggle and legislate against the sea, someone basically doing a trans eco one. Stop being angry at individuals, start being angry at the system. 
is all I have to say to that. The reason why these things are happening isn't because someone else is profiting from stuff like that. It's just like the reason is there's, there, there are. Oh, this is the, that, that's what it's going to be. Again, don't spoil it for me, but Keffels is going to be against uh, Finster, and uh, Holy People is going to be like, why the fuck do you care? At the bit. Not that I care how they get the back. Yeah. There is no ethical consumption, or um, there is no ethical capitalism in general, so. Fuck. I think there's a bigger problem with the exploitation of people with ADHD um, within the streaming community personally. Considering how many people are ADHD and like how that ties into uh, being an authentic uh, parasocial personality. I never saw anything of the debate other than some tweets from other people. Yeah, well I'm looking forward to having a look at that today. Let me just check. Woo! All the writs are done! Ooh. Capitalism encourages an ethical consumption would be more accurate. I guess, but like, if you don't have a choice, then... <laughs> Wait, where's, where's my horse? Where's the horses? Just transfer them to the fanboys will kiss and make out for a while on camera. I mean... If you've got 30, 30 yeah, grand to send to send Finster awake, I'm sure I'm sure he will. I mean, if he doesn't, that's also okay. Wish I had 30 grand to fucking sink into shit like that. I wouldn't be sinking into shit like that. I'd be like sinking into building a housing co-op, but you know, different strokes. Sex worker. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's good. As long as it's informative. Like, I, I'm, I'm worried. I, I know that one day, I'd like, Kefels is gonna say something that completely turns me off them. Like, they, they, they are just a lib at this point. Um, but at least they don't, they're not fucking dishonest about it. You know what I mean? Not like people like Borsch. Oh, seriously though? Like, you, you, you literally, like, I put Vosh in the title of one of my um, stream stream dump uploads, right, on my channel, and um, instantly, like, normally I get, like, between, you know, 5 to 20 views on a, a video. That one went up to, like, 100 within a couple of days. It's hilarious how you can just put Vosh in the title of something, and uh, people will just fucking flock to it. Camera showing his socks. I have a friend who uh, did some uh, hentai voice acting. It's really cool. Um, jewelry, I think, and jewelry. Pardon me. Wait, you're annoyed. Wait, 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 wait. I, I mean, I don't know why people are so anti contrapoints. Again, like contrapoints never fucking claim to be like a communist. It's just, I just find it weird. Ooh, showed up the skirt. I would wear better. I would wear much more skimpy shit if I had uh, the money to get um, the skin removal surgery. Love to be able to do that. So enchanting rank forty. I don't need that. Oh yeah. So I've only need to do two more of this. So rank forty. 
recrafting at rank 40. I don't know, cool, heaps to go. I have traveled all Where are you, Azabi? There we go. Thank you. Heal them. Iridian, Stormhaven, the Rift, Hrothgar, Hrothgar, Oridian, Oridon, Stone Falls. Pretty sure that I'm in Stone Falls. Let's have a look at that. Stone Falls. <laughs> Shadowfin, Southern Alice, where? Yep. Stormhaven, no, it's Trust Makina. Western Skyrim. Hrothka, no. Mm -mm. Okay. Let's put away these things. Stonefalls, Stonefalls, Shadowfin. Stone Falls, Deschamps, Soul Jam, Stone, Stone Falls, blah blah blah, come on, do do, consumables, recipes, repair kits, armor, weapons, and currency, 464 and I'm done for the day on this shit. All right, let's move on, shall we? Shall we? Uh, Contra Boys never listen to others telling her how things she says and does is hurtful, overly defensive of her guests like Buck Angel and just seems like she wants to be seen as one of the good ones. Okay. Uh, it has been a long time since I have watched her response to um the criticisms over the buck angel shit at the time i felt that her defense of that was fair enough but again it's been a while and my views and uh my views and my um uh politics have changed since since then um but I usually, when whenever I see stuff that she's um, posting, people like have a go at her from. It's always just like the most milk toast shit that people get so angry about. But that's just my opinion. Like I'm not saying anyone is wrong there. All right. All guess. No. Ugh. No, I need a title. The title for this. Ah, oh, nothing funny. I think that's how you pronounce, spell his name. Yeah, uh, Caligan. Yeah. Yes. Your BDSM test results have changed since. Yeah, mine too, actually. All right. I wish I could just hide messages all the time. I don't want that thing in the bottom. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So, okay. So, what's happened is, and I have a lot of thoughts about this. One of the things, uh, yeah. One of one of the things, um, when it comes to the Andrew Callahan stuff, one of the questions that's going to come up, right? 
one of the major questions that's going to come up is uh, why now? Um, why are they all posting now? Uh, and this is the thing that always comes up. But this is actually one of the easiest debunkings of that question that I can possibly make at this point. Because the reason why people are speaking up um, about this now is because Andrew Callahan has gone from a online niche YouTube personality to now having shows, being on, you know, uh, mainstream news and an HBO series with lots of advertising and what people, and now uh, the alleged victims are seeing that more often. The reason why is because they can't fucking escape it, right? Um, yeah. So uh, let's just start with this one here. I never in a million years thought that I would be making this video and I'm shaking because I've tried a couple different times and haven't been able to get my point across, but um, I don't like seeing abusers get platforms. And my abuser, Andrew Callahan, also known as All Gas No Breaks, Channel 5, and whatever his new HBO show's called, I forget, um, has been plastered all over my news feed and I've tried to come to him person to person and try to get him to take accountability for what he did But his version of what happened the night that he assaulted me is so skewed So I will tell you that he did eventually get consent and that's the main point is that he eventually got consent because he wore me down He told me he needed a place to stay for the night He had some sort of falling out with one of his crew members or whatever and I was very clear about the fact that we are not hooking up he gets in my bed and wears me down to the point where I eventually do agree to do things that I wasn't proud of. And I wasn't proud of them and thought it was my fault for so long that I continued- Yeah. Like, I, like, consent is always enthusiastic and informed. Like, coercing someone into sex is not consent, even if- they say yes after a hundred times saying no to you. If they've said, yeah, like, that's not consent. That's, that, that's rape. So, yeah, I should probably should say trigger warning. ...to be nice to him after the situation. He wouldn't leave my house the next morning. Um, and then as time went on and I processed things, I thought, you know what, just because eventually i said okay whatever because i was trying to just get the whole night over with so that it could be morning so that he could leave um it's it doesn't discount the fact that i told him no so um i told him no so many times prior to this i said i'm tired i'm not really feeling it i came up with any excuse that i possibly could to just get him off of me and he still found a way to coerce me into things that i didn't want to do and this is really hard for me to say. I never thought I would come forward, but it's even more hard to have to relive the trauma that I endured every single day by seeing this man as a social justice warrior, as someone who cares about human rights, get a platform. You shouldn't be supporting him. And at the end of the day, like I've told close friends of mine, I've tried coming out about this before. And he texted me saying that it basically ruined his life and that his life was over now because of things that I said and other Boo fucking who? <laughs> Women have come sorry. forward to me. No, I'm sorry. This is my first time publicly talking about it on a platform like TikTok because I hope it gets traction. I hope people listen to me. I hope that if something similar has happened to you, that you know that that's not your fault. It wasn't my fault what happened to me. Just because I eventually. Yeah. Just because I she eventually caved. Yeah. So that this so so like this is. A primary victim speaking out about their experiences of sexual assault. Now, what I just 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 want to debunk for a second some of the misconceptions around rape. The Victorian government, uh, the, 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 the yeah, I know ACAB, but uh, sometimes they can fucking come out with some good shit. The Victoria Police came out with this fact sheet talking about, basically wrapping up um, 
the main points that I really wanted to talk about today. One being the rate of false rape allegations. Now, I want you to think about this situation in two ways. Would you rather there being a 5% chance of you supporting a liar or a 95% chance of you supporting a rapist? And that's what I just want you to think about before I say it is always good praxis to believe the victim. I would rather be wrong about someone's uh, honesty and make a mistake that way than be wrong about supporting a rapist, right? And if we're looking at pure statistics alone, the chances of supporting a liar are very fucking low, and this is not the only person who has come out with allegations. So, like, keep it in your head, you know? Dig out the wax in your ears right now, boys. And girls. And non-binary... Pearls. Um... The chances of this being, n not being, a true pattern of abuse are so low <laughs> that it's just not worth, it's not worth defending Andrew over this. Because you can always be like, oh, sorry, whoops, I made a mistake in, in, in calling him, you know, an abuser, but like, you never get to walk back from supporting a fucking rapist. <laughs> yeah. One of the things you're curious about is where the benefactors come from. It's like, as a Sasa Rando kid just gets an HBO contract with the story of the on tour before in Chicago, there was another kid from Bumfuck, Illinois, who owns a burgeoning uh, record label as part of his show. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I mean, like, Andrew Callahan has... Uh, a lot of, um, it has a, a, a real talent, but, yeah. Ah, uh, why some argue and don't understand consent? Consent in civil terms means that you want it to happen. Yeah, if you say, if you say yes to avoid more problems, you're not actually saying yes, you want to have sex. You are saying, uh, yes, I will let you have sex. Competition to do one over is uh, the you know, racial aspects of cultural appropriation. Wait, what? What do you mean for the cultural appropriation? You mean like the rap stuff? I don't know. Um. All right, another primary. Only when I was extremely drunk, he invited me to dinner to apologize, and he assaulted me in uh, physically kicking him out. Okay. Uh, when he was on tour, he took me and my friend to a party and tried to fuck my roommate after she said no. He left our house screaming. Okay, I don't know about that one. Uh, no, how many, and know how many people in common with you're not the best person you've heard. Okay, no. I want primary, primary sources. He said they won't let you out unless you suck their dick. It doesn't matter if you did or not. You didn't want it to happen. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. What, what was the cultural appropriation stuff? Um... Please. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but like, um, profile picture checks out. Fuck. <laughs> <coughs> uh, celebrity allegations just dropped. Like, it's some sort of drama. A group of people didn't get traumatized by individuals' behavior. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, agreed. Uh, update with receipts. What? There's an up. Wait, here's the update video with receipts. People are asking for. I'm sorry, but the receipt that this is the receipt that this is the receipt up here. What more do you need? Like, f fuck off. I I don't need I I don't need more than her word to um come to a conclusion on this. I'm not a fucking police officer. I'm not like investigating this shit. 
if someone uh, makes an allegation and like especially especially when multiple people come out with allegations primary sources primary victims make uh, allegations against someone um it, with a pattern forming then yeah i'm just gonna believe them fuck it i i, I really don't care um no For their sake, I hope they're telling the truth. I mean, like, the chances are they're... Wow. Never, never agree to something you don't want to do. Alright. Tell, t tell me that you haven't been in those situations. It's a non-allegation of a sexual assault that didn't happen to the... What? The, the the tweets are weird. Wait, what? Holy shit. But yeah, like... So, um, I told him I would take him home because he lived close by, but that I did not want to have sex in my car at all. I did not want to have sex with him again, ever. Um, and after we got to my car, he started advancing towards me, um, started touching my inner thigh, um, and pulled me forward and started kissing my neck. Um, so I really couldn't move out of the position um, he was holding me like tightly and um, he proceeded to put his hand down my pants I told him to stop I told him to get off of me multiple times um, he it's not weird his shame it's common like white women do uh weaponize the their femininity in order to um to yeah no that's actually a really good point a shame you're more they're more similar than they are different yeah i mean i don't know what the cultural appropriation stuff um is but i don't think that it should take a back seat especially if like people of color are feeling like you know yeah no you brought up a really interesting point when it comes to um like this is something that's always been like a factor of white feminism like white women's um problems have always been used to erase the plight of um of uh people of color um there's a good book out there that uh, i wish it was on audible because i, I really want to um had the audiobook so i'm gonna have to find it somewhere else but i've been me it's on my book list um yeah no yeah yeah i think it's definitely worth um pausing here and like talking about this because of that like your problems aren't insignificant like your problems have been around as long as the problems that white women have faced and white women have um have uh been the oppressors just as much as uh white men have and uh white people have used women's issues to erase that but uh, uh what was the book the book name was um uh black scars white tears i think yeah no like even if i don't know what the issue is i'm always gonna fucking hear that shit out because it's it's a real issue it's a real problem yeah um Be in, yeah, I think um, if I can find some um, 
stuff on 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 uh, Andrew Callahan's um, um, appropriation of uh, BIPOC uh, culture, I guess. Um, yeah, I wish I had that on hand to to, to look at that. He tried to put my hand down his pants, and I was, you know, fighting against him during this. It's just this just seems like the whole nice guy sort of like nice the nice guy this is like the quintessential nice guy shit when you think about it um to please stop um and he said um you could at least suck my dick and i said no i don't want to do that get out of my car at that point it was i'm not taking you home anymore get the fuck out of my car and he just got mad really he was mad um that i would even say that but at the same time he was laughing at me um and continued to try to kiss me and was like are you serious come on come on um yeah it was not fun so i told I wonder him if there's to any like um, people have spoken about that he wouldn't get out and he said you could at least take me home so i realized at this point i would not be able to physically push him out of my car so i started driving Quickly and erratically down the road, I pulled into a busier street and I stopped abruptly thinking, you know, like maybe someone will realize something is wrong or if someone is honking at me, like he'll feel uncomfortable and want to leave the car. But I guess it did make him uncomfortable that I did that and I told him to get the fuck out of my car. Um, and he was like, can I at least get a kiss goodbye? And I oh, said, fucking fuck hell. No get the fuck out he left um never spoke to him or saw him again so um yeah so that's enough for me that's just fucking enough for me right like you don't need any more than that you don't need fucking receipts the police need the receipts right this is not like Secondly, it's a Calga, and his persona certainly seems to affect by everything that's happened, probably his head get big. I don't know, I don't think that. I don't think that's it. I honestly, honestly, I think that this comes down to, um... <laughs> society failing both men and women when it comes to teaching people what consent is, and what is appropriate when it comes to this sort of thing, because, like... This is just an example of how men who are supposed to know better still don't. And it could have been avoided with some actual fucking proper education. Ah. <sighs> It's just a uh, fucking d disappointment. <sighs> oh, fuck off, Fosh. But it, I would be, um, interested to see if like there's been any um bipoc um, content creators who have spoken out about um the cultural appropriation issue uh, i would like to learn more about that honestly um But yeah, not a good fucking time uh, for this to happen with uh, all of the cishet white men complaining about being left behind by the left. Am I right?
Basically, yeah. A self reported someone who wrote pillars tried and failed to recur it could have gone that route if you wanted and said fuck that. Yeah. No, I just, just want to, like, let it yeah, quickly go through this. So, like, reality... So, so a lot of the, the, the... Here's a lot of, like, myths about sexual assault, right? So, one of the misconceptions is that reports of rape and sexual offences are easy to make and difficult to defend. Um, so that's, that's absolutely fake. Uh, national and international research consistently de demonstrates that incidents of rape, sexual offences, and child sexual abuse are significantly underreported, under prosecuted, and under convicted. Um, real victims would report rape and sexual offences immediately. The majority of victims who experience sexual offences delay disclosing and or reporting or never disclose slash report their experiences what do you do if you are assaulted by someone you love and care about and you know that if you report their assault to the police they will lose their qualifications in their field now, yes, this person is a piece of shit for abusing you, but you still fucking love them, right? And in your empathetic mind, you don't want to ruin that person's life. If this sounds close to home for you, I can tell you that I have heard this story, this same story, many times from many women in many abusive relationships. It's, if you think that, if, you, if you're going to expect a victim of abuse to pick themselves up by themselves, because that's what this is, that's what that myth is. It's expecting someone who's gone through something traumatic from someone that they were supposed to be able to rely on. If you think it's just as simple as just going to the police and reporting it, tell me you've never been through anything abusive without telling me you've never been through anything abusive. Honestly. Or maybe you're just a gatekeep, gatekeep girl boss. Who, who thinks that uh, the abuse made them made, made you stronger and that other people just need to work harder to get out of it because you did. Because you got over the abuse, like other everyone else should be able to do it in the same way you did because no one else's experience is valid outside of your own world experience. Um, yep. Um... Yeah. This is this is a weird one. I can't believe that people believe this. Physi physiological um, responses by a victim, such as erections and orgasms during a sexual offence, must mean the person consented. Like, yeah, unwanted wanted sexual arousal and physiological responses can and do occur during rape and uh, or sexual offences. And such responses do not in any way indicate that the person consented. Like, consent is always informed and enthusiastic. And not coerced. You need, you can't coerce someone into sex with you. You can't control how your body reacts. Exactly. So here's one one um, misconception. Victims affected by alcohol consent to sex but regret it afterwards in alleged rape. Now, the media often focuses on date rape drugs such as Rohypnol. However, alcohol is the most common drug of choice that offenders intentionally use to incapacitate a victim before committing a sexual offense. How many of these fucking um, piece of shit... Uh, How many of these pieces of, piece of shit, um, like, uh, oh, 
what do you call them? Pickup artists talk about using alcohol in order to uh, prey on women. On women. And sometimes involving the state makes it worse. The cure is worse than the disease. All the shit you've heard about from people you were in rehab with who had priors with parole officers and shit. Pickup artists. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, the law assumes a heavily intoxicated person is incapable of consenting to the act. If you are drunk, then you didn't consent necessarily at the time. You couldn't consent at the time. It's just like fucking, it's, it's just like talking about fucking children. They cannot, they cannot have informed consent. It's impossible for them. Like, it's always going to be rape. Don't get drunk and have sex just 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 enjoy people enjoy people like sober before having sex with them maybe i don't know what i don't know what the race is to have sex these days but um yeah so many offenders are opportunistic and will take advantage of victims who are already drunk and incapacitated now one of the things that this checklist doesn't do is explain the mindset of someone who is going to sexually assault someone. It is it is making it is written in a way which makes it sound as though people who are rapists are like you know rubbing their hands together, evil evil uh, you know schemers. It's like oh, I'm going out and I'm going to rape someone tonight. Oh. It's it's nothing like that. They don't even realize that a lot of the time these people don't even consider the fact that what they've done is rape. Um, will be... You highly doubt any partner will be mad that you didn't have sex with them when they were too drunk and that you were worried for them? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I definitely haven't had that before. And I guess that's another good thing to bring up. Like, if we're going to talk, if we're going to talk about um, how um, being coerced into sex is not consent, like, if you are someone who um, has a penis and you are coerced into sex by your partner who has a vagina, like that's still a form of sexual assault. Um, and they don't even have to real. Th th this is the thing. Like, you. Can, people can be you can sexually assault someone without intending to sexually assault someone it is not an act of intention it is a result of an action you assaulted someone because of the actions that were taken intent yeah I uh, just think people should be okay with, hey, sorry, you were too drunk and I was worried. I'd rather do it when you were sober. Yeah, we, we, being in abusive relationships is a fucking trip. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> do not, would, zero out of ten would not recommend. <laughs> no, no, like, uh, yeah. Yeah, and I've been, I've been, like, um, uh, uh fucking guilty of being like shitty about like internally at least being upset that um i didn't get sex in a night but like do you know what you do with that you know what you do with that when you're upset that you didn't get to have a sexual experience um you, you deal with that yourself and you become a better person and you like that you you search yourself for why you're feeling that way and you try and become a better person which i did so you know, girl boss gatekeep, like, if I can do it, you can do it too. <laughs> oh, no, 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 fine, that's fine, I don't mind, I don't mind bringing that stuff up, like, that's, that, you're not gonna traumatize me any more than I've been traumatized already. <laughs> There's nothing anyone can do to me on stream that I am trying to do worse. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, here's the thing, like, this is really what I wanted to make a point of, only women can be victims of rape, it's impossible for males to be victims of rape. I mean, I'm not a man, uh, but I do have 
those parts. So there are there there have been expectations placed on me in the past by partners that I've been with, um, which at the time I felt uncomfortable with, and I didn't really talk to them about. And like, it's not for me personally. It's not a thing that I would like fucking make a big stink about because I don't know why. That's an interesting thing. There is a different expectation for people with penises, honestly. It's kind of fucked up, like, because I think about it, me, I think about it right now, and I think to myself, oh, it wasn't just such, a, it wasn't, it wasn't a big deal. I, I, I can deal with that. But that then ask myself the question, wait, why? Why is that the case? Why wasn't it a big deal? How is this any different? And I don't have an answer for that. I think that's important to normalize the idea that being coerced into sex as someone with a penis or like men um, being expected to perform on demand. Like there is an expectation that men and people with penises uh, are expected to be able to just go, just have sex whenever um, your partner is ready. Um, and that sucks. And that sucks. And that can be really like damaging for a person's psyche is to feel like, like, uh, the, you know, if you have um, erectile dysfunction or something like that, like, you're ridiculed. Like, how is that any different from a sexual, uh, a sexual fucking harassment, sexual abuse? Is to be expected to perform for your partner just because you were born with a fucking penis. Sometimes you don't want to have sex, and you have it anyway because your partner wants it. Been there, done that. That's not consensual. And it's kind of fucked up when you think about it, that something non-consensual is so accepted by society. Yeah. Doing men dirty there. Um, oh, gosh. But, yeah. Oh. But yeah, so I guess from all of this, yeah, patriarchy hurts us all. Yeah, fucking fucking oath it does. Like. This is this is why the whole the left is failing men bullshit is so fucking stupid. Is because the left is the, your favorite content creator has no fucking power over society. What are you talking about? Your ex liked to bring up the whole intersectionality shit. Yeah, like And you'd brought up a really good point earlier, Shane. Like the idea that um that often white women's issues are used to um, to silence PO people, uh, BIPOC people's um, uh, BIPOC's um, concerns. It's just like, let's look at that for a second here, right? Andrew Callahan is able to do like. Uh, the, you know, cultural appropriation or whatever, and nobody lifts a fucking finger. No one, everyone's fucking asleep. A white woman speaks up about sexual abuse allegations. Suddenly, everyone's fucking talking about it. That's pretty fucked up. That's a really fucked up thing that you brought up. That's important to fucking realize. That's an important conversation to have. Why do we only give a fuck about? What happens when it's white women? Ugh. The displacement of BIPOC um, discussion is more accidental and intentional. But, like, that's what all of these things are. And we have to intentionally, like, raise these issues in order to actually, like, 
move forward with this stuff, Flames. It's important to fucking note. You know what? Like, gonna let. I'm happy to push aside white women's issues in order to talk about um, uh, cultural appropriation, especially when it's been fucking ignored for this long. I don't. I don't know the the dates, but like, I can understand the hypocrisy of calling out Andrew over this. Um. And ignoring the other stuff that's going on, or not even being aware of the other stuff that's going on, right? That's 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 my fucking fail. That's a big F for me. That's a big fail for me, isn't it? Really? I mean, at the end of the day, that's a bit of a fucking fail. Like I don't think I've ever spoken about Andrew Callahan and like criticized. Um, you know the platforming of. Uh, white people who appropriate uh, black culture and all of that sort of stuff and you know his own guilt when it comes to that and i still don't quite understand it myself and really wish that i knew somewhere i could go to like learn more about that pushed out, pushed out like that you make sure others feel like they don't feel like they get pushed out hate for the bipoc discussion just displace feminist discourse you, yeah i i understand the shame but like sometimes we need to take a step back and realize that setting aside white women's issues is not pushing away is not taking away anything from white women it's giving the attention to people that deserved it from the beginning that wasn't weren't being given to. You know what I mean? I'm sure to some people talking about the BIPOC stuff will sound like something's been taken away from white women. Like that's how it always happens. Just just look at just look at uh Vorsch being sad that white men aren't being taken care of by the left. It's not because, like, anything's being taken away from white people. It's the fact that, like, we're, you know, including so many other discussions that should have been talked about a long time ago. But yeah, if you if anyone finds any, like, videos or discussions about uh, the uh, cultural appropriation, like, I would love to um, learn myself some, some of that shit. But... So right now, I'm just going to take a quick break. i got to use the ladies' room. <sighs> Crack my back. Ah, oh, yes. Um, and when we get back, we can uh, play that um, thing in the background. We'll, we'll uh, have a look at the Keffels versus Polly people. We'll put aside BIPOC and uh, sexual assault allegations and focus on two white women. <laughs> So no, anyway, or two. Either way, I will be right back after these short announcements. <laughs> and we're back. And I have things really on me. I need to get a um I need to get a um extension cord for my like little fox neon thing because um i don't know what happened to all of my my um extension cords like they've, they've just disappeared it's not fair i don't like it i was wondering whether i should play something in the background while i'm watching this but i don't know i don't know I was th uh, i've been like craving no, no 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 let's just watch this let's just watch this let's pay attention to to this I'm liking this new format. Not not getting distracted by games while live, while you know watching important stuff. All right. So, Caffles versus Polly people, the Finster disagreement, and I didn't realize that I'm not uh, subscribing. Algorithm. Da, 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 da. Support the original creators if if you would like, if you can. Um. I don't really have and and I don't don't have any issues with poly people. Poly people is pretty sick. Keppels is pretty cool. Um, they both have better cleavage than I do. It's not fair. But uh, let's have a look. Let's let's check it out. 
uh, I believe this is the first time we've chatted, and, and uh, so, you know, um, thank you for uh, considering chatting with me. Oh, I, I figured that you, I figured you deserved at least a conversation on it. This topic seems to really upset you. Oh, I would say that, well, okay, here's, <laughs> here's the most upsetting thing about it is, is not necessarily the topic itself. Well, you know, the topic itself is upsetting enough. It's the, it's the sort of, uh, the well poisoning, the sort of, you know, straw manning and, and, uh, dismissing of the, of the very real critiques, I think, of Finn's content that have made it difficult. Like, you know, you know, I've sort of resigned myself to people sort of responding to me saying, you're just jealous, Polly, or, or, uh, or yeah, you're. Uh, like I wish you were harm upon just wanting to understand what people's motives and intentions. Yeah, me too. Like I, I, yeah, I mean, like intentions don't matter as much as um, results do at the end of the day. But like, sometimes intentions are all you, all that you have to work with. Or now you're trying to uh, uh, control what people wear. You're basically a turf. Uh, so you know, like that's been you know, and it's come from the trans people. And I know, uh, I have to guess that that's. That's been the result of some of the, you know, not just you, but other other content creators sort of not taking the critique seriously and being dismissive of them. So what's the critique, well, in your opinion? Yeah, okay. So if I could sort of briefly describe it, when you when you uh, create content and you lean heavily into tra uh, tropes such as, like, I'm a trap, <laughs> you know, like, uh, if you've built your entire existence on the, hey... I'm actually a man, lol, uh, but I look just like a woman and I've, you know, you know, you're gay because you like me or I, I fooled you uh, and and you, your entire presentation is, you know, on the surface, completely indistinguishable from a trans woman's experience. I mean, I, I thought I thought he was a trans woman. That's why I sort of let it slide. Right. Because, you know, uh, I'm a trans woman. Like and, you... Hold on. Hold oh, on. So like... Is this like the opposite, the opposite that I thought it was going to be? <laughs> I thought that, oh, the poly people would be a little bit more. Um, uh. Oh, what's the word? Reasonable on this one, but, um, well, I mean, like, not that she's unreasonable, but, like, yeah, interesting, interesting. If you did, interesting. Okay, I, right, I'm, well, I'm, I'm, like, I'm looking well, to learn. Like already, well, I thought you wanted to hear me out. I am, but, like, immediately, you're already saying you weren't even familiar with who Finn was or Finn's content before jumping to that conclusion. Well, no, 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 because I have I've familiarized myself with it. Like, 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 I'm not just popping off here. What I'm trying to describe to you is I can understand why people might might not quite pick up what I'm putting down here, because, you know, you know, you sort of look at the content at first glance, you're like, this is just a trans woman being trans, right, being edgy. Uh, but l when you look deeper into it and you become more familiar with his history, you know his entire platform is built off of transphobic shit. And so, like, so, like, that is... You could tell me I'm. I mean, this is this is this is the stuff that I want to know more about, like what the transphobic stuff is. Like, so far, this seems to just be a reframing of the stuff that we've already talked about earlier. Like when it comes down to it, like this is a man who is dressing up in women's clothes. Like, how is taking on the aesthetics of a trans woman in order to create content any difference? from uh drag uh, it, it like drag is a celebration of femininity right and but but it's done predominantly by gay men like mostly there are obvious exceptions there but like why is one thing okay but another thing isn't? That's what I'm not understanding here. Like, it doesn't take anything away from my transness for a guy to make content taking on the aesthetics of, like, my identity. It doesn't, doesn't, it doesn't affect my identity in any way. So, but if he's pushing forward, like, transphobic rhetoric, and that sort of stuff, I do have an issue with that, but I would like to, you know, know what that is. How you can, Finn's entire we can platform have... built on transphobia? Well, his entire thing is trap content. Like, like uh, fooling people into saying, look, you're gay uh, for liking me. I'm actually a woman, lol. I fooled you sort of stuff. Like, how, how does the trans community not take strays from that? And, and, and uh, how is it okay for him to lean into those? I need to see, I need to see uh, receipts. This is the kind of stuff I need receipts for. I don't know. Um... <sighs> I 
Yeah. It, uh, easy receipts? Oh, if you've got them, yeah. Yeah, like again, again, this is the same. This is this 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 this, this isn't. So, uh, my issue, my issue with um, poly people bringing up trap stuff, like trap is a slur, right? The idea that uh, trapping people into that, but like I've decided that you like guys now. <sighs> It just seems like what the fuck? So many bullets. Like, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Again, I feel like this is problematic in the same way that uh, uh, being a trans sex worker is. Uh, if you're cool with deciding for me that what I like, then I guess that's a valid statement. I care just as much about Finn's intentions as I do what they look like. Yeah, like, uh, yeah. I understand why people would find this uh, offensive. Sorry, let me, let, me, let me blow that up a bit. I understand why people might find this offensive. Like, I've decided that you like guys now. Like, ha ha ha. Like, it's a joke. Um, it's not, like, the worst trap joke I've ever seen, but, like, okay. <sighs> it's kind of tropes when he doesn't pay the price for it. I mean, object. It is half from horrible. Guess you're gay now. But that's the, that's that's his brand. That's what he's making money off of. Effectively, as someone who identifies as a cis man, if a straight if a straight man thinks that they're attracted to Finn, they're gay. Uh, do you, so? What? Do you do you understand? What? Uh huh. Wait, what? No, no, you don't. You don't get to decide what someone else's sexuality is. I have a problem with that. That just saying it like that, in in a in such a bald sort of uh uh <laughs> way in isolation. Do you don't you see that why why that that enables transphobes to say that we're like not real or that we're 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 actually traps? Um. No, like, I feel like they're going to do this regardless. 
Yeah. Uh. Okay. As a man. Okay. Uh, always well, identified as okay. Man. Okay, but like transphobes don't care about that, and people who are not, uh, who are who are who are not. Well, well, I guess, you know, super, super in tune with trans issues are are not going to think there's a dime's worth of difference between Finn saying, ha ha, I fooled you. Look, you know, I'm just a, a man who looks every bit as much as a woman. Sexuality and, and... is too tied to gender. It's based on looks, not gender. Yeah, I'm mean, just like, you know, like. It's, it, to me, saying if you're attracted to Finn, that means you're gay is the same thing it, it, it's very similar to like saying that if you're attracted to a trans woman you're gay so i understand where like polly is coming from here like that's i don't think keffel's even realized how like easily she fell into the transphobic talking point there like she like just fucking dunked her head right in it without realizing it <sighs> but again, um, these are things. Th these are systemic problems, and I do think that breaking down gender roles is more positive than worrying about whether someone taking on the aesthetics of trans women is going to damage trans women. Uh, like this is a similar argument that's been like levied against gay men doing drag for a long time. The idea that like you know fe femin rad femmes being pissed off that um, gay men are dressing up as caricatures of women. That's what drag is. But that hasn't fucking that that is that that hasn't like increase the abuse of women at all that hasn't served to do anything other than allow people to experiment with their gender expression in positive ways i do think that like allowing men to dress as women is a step in a positive direction even though like yeah it's problematic as fuck i just like people see all three on screen right now and think women yeah like you like the idea that you're gay if you're attracted to someone in drag no you're attracted to femininity like sexuality isn't as black and white as that Finn isn't even making fun of he's making fun of the concept of men i mean he is he is making fun of trans women when he's making those jokes like those are things that are levied against trans women a lot I mean, like, I understand exactly why... I, the, there are definitely problematic aspects of it. I just think that the positive... The positivity around... The, the, like, the positivity that I see, like, in this, uh, com like, community, like... Yeah, you get the odd weird weird shit, and, like, oh, you get the, the this one here. Like, obviously, is just, uh... You know, this is, this is, haha, -ha, it's a trap. That's that that is the joke there, hundred percent. I just feel like the positivity around um, this stuff, like, is kind of like, look how many people are like saying positive things. I don't think I've seen like a more positive thread, right? How not to react to Finn? Um, this. This is this is how not to react to Finn. Can I get a whiff of those toes, perhaps? Just a sniffle. Like, yeah. I, I just, yeah, like... It's not... Like, Finster is taking advantage of something which already exists as a structure in society. He's not, in and of himself, perpetuating those things, I don't believe. Sneaky, Sneaky's cosplayers? I don't know that one. Uh, some other actually trans content creator that does the same thing or would do the same thing except the harm that comes from that falls solely on the trans community or or largely unfairly on the trans community which is a much yeah but like you need to i i really want there to be a link 
shown that there's a logical link there between like perpetuating trap like jokes and stuff like that but i feel like i'm seeing so much more positivity from that no hold who noticed this is chat's bulgy walgies <laughs> I like it if always re reacted like, like this to a trans woman. That's more the weird issue of people are fine with drag fanboys, but not trans women because that alters their views on how gender structure works. I mean, like, the way that people are reacting to Finn is exactly um, what uh, I capitalized on as a sex worker. Like, that's a lot of my income was from older gay men stuck in marriages who were never able to um, come out as gay um using me as an uh, outlet in order to explore their sexuality like yeah everyone's behaving to that except for andrew callahan what is trans femme uh trans femme is just someone who identifies that way wait oh me trans femme like that's in my description isn't it yeah just trans femme i am woman i use trans femme because i'm just like abolish gender but also, I am also gender. <laughs> I have more hate uh, that I see so many trans women sex workers doing the copy files. Would you still fuck me knowing I'm a trans woman? Um, watch the other pics because there's a long array. That's right. I'll, 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 uh, I've got a second um, browser open to filter. But where are the where are the cleavage? Where are the cleavage? Oh, I remember Sneaky. No, no, I remember who Sneaky is now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, for some reason I thought it was okay. Okay, okay. Here's my here's an interesting thing. Here's an interesting thing. Like honestly, if this encourages this in a positive way. I think the positives outweigh the negatives in the long term. You don't understand that, but it's very interesting. It's just another way of saying uh, a, um, a trans woman. You know, like, I took um, feminizing hormones, like, I've transitioned um, to, be, to look more feminine. Although, I like, I'm just a trans woman. It's just a complicated, overly complicated way of saying, like, that I transitioned to become more feminine. You know. Yeah, good on that guy. Like, see, like, I'm just gonna filter that a little bit as well. <sighs> Let people do their own thing. Yeah, like, it's just because it's public, I guess. It's well, hard. This is a fucking. This is a fucking really complicated subject. Come to the conclusion that Finn increases the amount of transphobia in the world. So I mean, that's a good point. You need to be able to. Did you hear about the new gender recognition reform bill that happened in Scotland? I did. Based as fuck. Did it actually like? Is it? <laughs> Pardon me. Did it go through all right and like works out really well? Mm -hmm. I'll tap this. Has been supported. Will be a, required to make a legally binding declaration. Dec okay, that's fucking weird. The trans people aged 16 and older are applying for gender reassignment. Wait, GRC? Oh, gender recognition certificate. Okay. Wait, what? Legal through a gender recognition. Wait, what is this? What? Sneaky is in fact a trust dresser. They don't always stay fan mode, but that's fine. Just like the drag queens that only dress up fan when they're going to perform. Yeah, but there are some drag queens that, like, whenever you see them publicly, they are in them. Like, that also exists. I, I don't, I just don't see a lot of difference between drag performers and Finster, honestly. Just seems like a sex work, honestly, to me. It's just sex work. Um, this is concerning to me, like, you have to do a specific gender recognition certificate, why don't you just, like, change the fucking birth certificate? Fucking done. Why does that have to go through- Why do you have to be put on a registry to be transgender? 
in in Scotland. Well, Finn does do sex work. You like so, like someone in chat told me. Someone in the chat told me that um, like someone someone pays him thirty k to call call them daddy. Like they're getting a sexual thrill out of that. Like the ca- Finster is capitalizing on sex work. People are fucking jerking off to this shit. They get off to it because of a um, because of a stigma against uh, being uh, homosexual. And being attracted, and be, and the erasure of uh, bisexuality. Just the, if we wanted to see less problems with this, then we need to like abolish the problems people have with LGBTQAI plus. Yeah, of course they are. Yeah. Binding, legally binding declaration that they are already living in their acquired gender and intend to do so permanently. Just seems weird. No one is required to have one. Removing the current evidence of a do- diagnosis of gender dysphoria. I mean, that's that's a step in the right d- direction. International best and uh, aligns with consensus view of the United Nations human rights bodies. Good. This is problematic. Applicants make must make a statutory uh, declaration that they've lived in the acquired gender for at least three months before replying. Like, what if you're like just not? Uh, not nudes, but thirst pics and chatting up their t- Twitch chat. The heck, a lot give me money to force them, force him to be femme. Like, I mean, that's that's yeah. There's there's a market for that because there is a stigma against trans people, not the other way around. If it, Polly, if if you want these problems to end, we need to attack the systemic problems at hand. And having an issue with a random uh, crossdresser on the internet isn't going to solve that problem. I'm about looking into this before it gets shut down. Yeah, absolutely. So if you. <laughs> If you, um, if you, uh, if you lean into any trope, like if you lean into sort of, I mean, I hate to like use this as a crude example, but if you, Mm -hmm. um, make sort of, uh, racist jokes, uh, 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 that are are, are obviously racist in a way to, to sort of, to straw man, like race, uh, uh, racism, you're going to have, um, racial minorities (laughs) taking strays and... That's hilarious, done randomly. You like, lock all his male clothes in a box so he has no way to back out. Like, that's, yeah. Honestly, the capitalization or like, capitalizing on... It is a capitalization of uh, the stigma against LGBTQIA plus people. Like, I understand that. But it's bigger than just trans people. It's a bigger issue than just trans people because, like, as a sex worker, or as a ex-sex worker, I understand the uh, dynamics and the mental gymnastics that um, people go through um, to avoid having to admit to themselves that they are attracted to penises while being straight. That's it, just it. That's what needs to be normalized. And I don't see any way of normalizing that without more men capitalizing on that. Because the more people do it, the more normalized it becomes. Like, it's a catch-22. Yeah. It's trap shit. Yeah. I have fucking 100% agree. What's the solution? And being harmed by that, like the furthering of tropes, like, it's like, are you saying I need to prove to you that the furthering of transphobic tropes hurts the trans community? Like, that's not a given to you. So would you equally take offense when trans women who are doing sex work play into these tropes on incredibly large, pro- on incredibly large platforms because they know that it sells? Fin- Who the fuck commented? And, like she's re- obviously reading a content. Like I, maybe those were her Finn's notes. It's not trans. Finn is cis. Trans okay. women that do You're that. Are, that when... Trans women are doing yes. that, and they are uh, doing Wait. it one because they have to. They live in a transphobic society. They're doing the best they can. Uh, and it's you know to say those two things are the same uh, blows my mind. No, because like, that's actually no, no, that's actually a really good point. That's a really good point. A lot of trans women are forced into. Um, 
into those situations through their circumstance. No, fucking good point, Polly. Like, uh, Finster... Finster can take off the makeup whenever he wants and um, assume the role of a uh, man uh, anytime he wants in order to... Like, a cishet man when, when, whenever he wants in ways that to drag performers can't a lot of the time. You know, because they're still gay and often effeminate after they get off the stage and take the makeup off. Really good point. It is not the same. It is not the same. And while I have, I was, I have the privilege as someone who lives in a first world country, white, you know, um, cis passing as long as I don't fucking open my mouth. <laughs> um, to fly under the radar at the end of the day. Or, if I don't, just beat the shit out of anyone who tries to attack me. I haven't had to do that yet, but pretty confident in myself. Um, I uh, I don't have the same fears and of, of retribution and the same dangers that a lot of other sex workers have. So, yeah. It's, it's not... It's not it might come across as, you know, uh, trans women can do that because we're trans, but, like, there are a lot of, like, intersectional things that cross over to put people in these situations, which, you know... Yeah, yeah, there, there, there's a problem there. Um, but should we say that Finster isn't allowed to capitalise on that because of this issue? Or should we focus on the fact that uh, some trans women are forced into sex work against their will in order to survive in society and attack that problem there? He'd need to cut his hair, but it's not it's not just makeup for him. The only, the only thing is boobs, but there's a lot of trans women that don't have noticeable boobs. But he doesn't have boobs. He's got um he he's got um uh fake ones. I'm pretty sure, doesn't he? Who knows? They're flying. I uh, think it's just a bit, and they're not serious. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's what I'm talking about. Like that was the problem with minstrel show. Minstrel shows is that at the end of the day, it's making it is capitalizing on um, a. It is capitalizing on the disenfranchisement disenfranchisement of black people, um, where the performers can just take off the makeup and not have to deal with the fallout for that. Finster's going to be okay if they just decide that, that it's too much for him and decides not to do it again. But again, like, I, I, I don't see what Finster's doing as the problem. I see the systemic problems underlying it. Using... The argument of uh, sex workers who are forced into the situation in order to do that is uh, pretty shit, in my opinion, because at the end of the day, we need to be attacking those problems as a separate thing. And I don't think that we can solve those problems by attacking cross-dressers who, like, make money off of horny men. I'm saying a lot of what you need to do as pastors and men would be the same as many trans women. Eh. Uh, uh, uh. Pretend like there's not a difference between those two things? No, but I feel like if you're making this argument, it would actually be more harmful for trans people to do it because they're more representative of the trans community than Finn ever will. The average person what? who's going to uh, be willing to go along with transphobic tropes are transphobic people. Are you kidding me? So, like, it doesn't matter to the average trans woman whether Finn's doing or an actual trans woman are doing it. It's not a time worth of, time's worth of difference. But one person doing it... Uh, uh, receives none of the fucking fallout from furthering transphobic tropes, and the other person is doing it because they have to, and and faces all of the fallout anyway. The fact that you were yeah, I know, this... but like, just because one person isn't receiving fallout doesn't mean that like Finster stop not doing the the trap shit anymore isn't going to stop trans women from being put into bad situations. Like my point is, like the more cross dresses there are out there, the more normalized it becomes. Like I think in the long run, it's actually a good thing. But arguments sh shows me why you're not really thinking about this hard enough, and why I'm actually kind of disappointed in in how you've engaged with this topic. 
in its entirety. I thought you would at least be somewhat charitable to the obvious position here that like Finn doing something transphobic essentially. I do love Polly. I don't think Finn is doing anything transphobic. Okay, what would you just not convinced? Would you deny Mm. that he's furthering transphobic tropes? No, I actually think that Finn is doing good at presenting a role model for gender nonconforming men and is making the world a less transphobic place with their platform. Uh, okay. Well, yeah. I mean, like, you can walk and chew gum at the same time. He's doing both. That's my answer. He's doing both. My question is, what? what's the problem here? What are we trying to solve? What, like, what's the point? What's the point? Let's get to the point. Okay, so, how, so then, how so are we then gonna if fix you don't think problem? somebody saying, ha-ha, I'm a trap, if you... <laughs> If your position is as a fucking cis man that the strays that are obviously going to be taken by the trans community, uh, uh, like, what entitled- do we want here? Do we want do, do does Polly want the does Polly want Finster to just fucking disappear? Because that's not going to solve the problem of transphobia. That's not going to make it, the the world any less transphobic. By our own admission, like transphobes are just going to be transphobic anyway. It doesn't matter to them. They'll just find trans women to do it too, right? Like what the fuck? What the fuck do we want here? Do, I mean, like, do we want the freedom to criticize Finster? Because I'm fucking hundred percent behind that. Like, I think that anyone who has complaints about the trap shit, like, is completely valid. If that that offends you, I think that's fucking valid. I think that you're right to feel that way. I think you're absolutely correct to feel like uh, he's like playing into the tropes and capitalizing off of not just transphobia but homophobia and other lgbtqia plus issues like the 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 oppression he is capitalizing off of the oppression of lgbtqia plus people in the same way that trans women who work in sex work are do capitalizing in the same thing the difference there is he can take off his makeup and get a haircut and a trans woman can't my question is whether he should have to take the makeup off and get a haircut because I'm not into that. I don't think that that's I I don't see any like what are the material outcomes we want here? Are you wanting to have a platform to criticize? Cool. Good. Good. Yes. Yes. Uh, that there is no debate there. Um but if we if if, if Polly thinks that Finster like disappearing is like going to affect the world in any positive way. I'm sorry, I just disagree with that. I disagree with that. I think that um, in, as a, as as a net outcome, um, more people being proud to cross dress and more sex workers being proud to talk out about their clientele and the way that um, you know. The patri the patriarchy um hurts all of us, man, women, and non-binary. It hurts all of us. The more people who are raising these questions and creating these conversations, the better. And it sounds like Finster is in a position to have these conversations. And like that's what I would probably do. That's the outcome I would like to see is see Finster talk more about these the intersection of these issues with his audience full of transphobes who are beating off to him and who are more likely to maybe uh listen to something he has to say i think that's going to be the most positive outcome there uh it feels like the we can't welcome drag queens because they make us look worse towards normal people well fuck normal people because those no you know what those normal people do is they pay for they they is they uh, jerk off to trans porn <laughs> when nobody's looking? That's what normal people do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is that. Yeah. And my my point is that uh, there are people who are forced into work, doing sex work, um, and can't get out of that cycle, and that. Finster is capitalizing off of the same same things, but like, and I think the criticism of that is important, and that um, a conversation about that is important. But like, Finster himself is not a part of the problem. There is the the problems are much larger than one fucking cross dresser. Come on, they better be paying for that transform. But I know most aren't. To do that for yeah. whatever reason you're coming up with, and I don't. I mean, I can see why people like are this, unreachable this arg- on this. This argument just 
opens you up to such weird positions. That's the problem. How? Like, if you're going to make this exact argument, then why aren't you going after drag queens? It's like, oh, so you think being a woman is a performance? You think you can just like dress up like a woman and do a show and dance? No, drag queens don't say I'm a trap. Like, like it's different. Well, when what you are you talking about? I have seen so many drag queens say I'm a trap. Okay, but they're not, they're not like looking ex <laughs> The drag queen argument is so stupid because because drag queens like uh, uh, go out of their way to not even look like cis women. They're like caricatures for fuck's sake. It is an artistic endeavor. What Finn's doing is essentially saying I'm a trap and winking and nodding and looking exactly like a trans woman, but saying I'm not. Uh, you know, you, you know, I'm exactly I, like a trans. I'm a what trap. Is a trans the, 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 that's doing exactly the same thing. He's doing a caricature of a trap. Like that's the same thing. It's the same thing. It is the same thing. Like to me. Sorry woman look like exactly well, to you well okay okay so i should say a transphobic caricature of a trans woman is somebody that says ha i trapped you you know you're gay now uh and it's clearly like doing this it to married to closeted trans and what yeah. makes it yeah no 100 percent you shame like that's 100 percent consequences did. of those actions like, like if you hey if you want to get rid of sex work like make like get rid of the stigma surrounded surrounding um like being queer like that's gonna be that's gonna like i mean it's gonna put a lot of uh, uh sex workers out of business unfortunately but like people are gonna be fucking happier some drag queens do want to pass well it's more the pageant ones anyway finn is literally doing the character of an a girl yeah L finn is doing a caricature like the whole act of haha -ha, i'm a trap is part of the caricature like caricature doesn't it is okay a caricature is not just like the clothes you put on it's also the performance that you make and so in the sense of drag queens they're doing a caricaturistic performance of women whereas finster is doing a characteristic caricature of trans people from the viewpoint of a transphobic person i think that uh, finster is in a better position than either keffel's then Keffels or Polly to reach out to fucking transphobes and normalize this shit. I do think that the positive outcomes outweigh the negative ones in this instance. Like two things can be true at the same time. He can, he can put for, like drag queens. I'm I like I'm sorry for saying this if this makes you angry, but drag queens do perpetuate negative stereotypes of women and they capitalize on that that's just the truth the thing is with drag queens they've been around long enough that we can see the effect that they've had on society as a whole and as a whole it's been positive and i feel like this is the same thing with cross-dressers like finster it's normalizing behavior even though it's capitalizing on transphobic content there's no denying that in the same way that drag queens are capitalizing on misogynistic content like there is no arguing that i'm sorry if you like the, the drag queens do utilize misogyny in order to create a performance that's just part of drag however like that's also outstripped by the positive outcomes for society as a whole yeah heteronormativity slowly going the way of the buffalo like anything that moves us towards that towards that like is a net positive to me you can be problematic and have a net positive at the same time you need to be able to look at the look what look at the uh, outcomes you want versus the material reality that's like in front of you there's very good reason to critique his behavior and uh, and and but like i don't think polly has said anything wrong in this whole circumstance i just want to know what the outcome is that we want on a fucking equitable equitable sort of don't punch down sort of basis like it, I, yeah it seems relative. like it's just, it just doesn't it feel doesn't it feel better like rather rather like at the beginning there Keffels said something fucking shit like that was a dumbass thing to say the Keffels like she said like if you're attracted to Finster then you're gay no like, fuck off like that's you're just like you're doing the opposite of the thing that you're supposed to be doing if you're attracted to Finster you're attracted to Finster
And that's all that should fucking matter at the end of the day. You know? And then people use humour to get over the fact and that they're attracted to him. And then they might think, oh, why am I thinking these things? And actually fucking have some introspection. Like, yeah. Thanks for the conversation. Yeah, of course. Also, some things we should make fun of, especially negative thing, things, things, so we can try to better ourselves, like not needing to be fa a face painted plastic Barbie doll at a candy fish. But that's my favorite thing to do. <laughs> it's obvious to me that, like, if you are in a more privileged position, why is it acceptable for you to engage in behavior for clout and to grow your platform um, in ways that are obviously going to have fallout with people far more fucking. Uh, far more marginalized than you and far more subject to those same sort of uh, transphobic attacks without even, you know, asking for it. People call me a trap and I don't even have to, like, you know, do any trappy trapperson type shit that he does. Okay. So he's making it easier for them to say, you're all traps anyway. You all look the same to me. This is an easy argument. No, I don't no, but, think that. Yeah, but the th yes, you can you can say that, but you need to be able to prove those outcomes. Also, I could probably use the the exact same argument for what I've just said about n the normalization of things. Like, you've got as much um, as much uh, reality to stand on as I do. There, it's all speculation at this point until you see the outcomes. Like we see outcomes because um, drag has been around for long enough. We see positive outcomes. That's why that's good. And, like, whereas we see with uh, things like, um, uh, uh, fuck, mind blank again. Like, blackface, um, minstrel shows. Minstrel shows, we know that that doesn't have a net policy, uh, positive, so we don't, so we don't, uh, like those things. Like, things can be similar and use and, and, and work in similar ways without having the same outcomes. That's my point. Like, you can assume these outcomes, which is what Polly's doing, and she's not wrong to make these assumptions because they are logical assumptions to make, but you need to be able to show those effects because my argument would be that yes there's probably a set amount a number of people who will like go on to uh, perpetuate those stereotypes but at the same time i think that there's going to be so many more people who will be able to be intro in introspective and to create communities around glorifying Cross-dressing. That's a more positive outcome to me. Uh, transphobes don't need gender for non-conforming men to attack us. They attack us no matter what. Same reason they attract drag queens and furries. Don't you fucking dare attack my furry brothers. And sisters. And non-binary... People. Peoples. I, I... I fight. I fight. My furries. Like, I think that... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I guess what? that's, you know, like, what do you, okay, all right, I guess you don't think that, but that's not a, that's not a response to the critique, that's I not a helpful. I to formulate my response. All right, go ahead. I, like, as I said, like, I think that transphobia is going to be a thing regardless of whether or not Finn does what they're doing, which has very little to do with the trans community. Like, Finn's made it very clear, I'm not a trans person, I am just a cross-dresser. Weirdly enough, one of your mods actually said, um, Finn isn't gender non-conforming, a cross-dresser, or a femboy. He isn't doing this because he likes to dress this way. He doesn't dress this way unless it's for work. It's like, why is it that your community is trying to police a gender non-conforming person's expression? Why is that okay? Well, I could go back to what I just said. What's not okay is furthering trans... Because, because it's not... Uh, what? Does Kevils think that she lives in a fucking bubble? Does Kevils not understand what, like, platforms are? And, and what parasocial relationships are? Like, Finster isn't a random guy on the street wearing women's clothes. Finster is a, like, Finster has like um, over half a million followers on Twitter. Like, they're, they're not just some guy doing a thing. Kevils, like, <laughs> you gotta understand that people have reach. Uh, and and when we're talking about like 
people, content creators, they're not just random people that you meet on the street. They're not real people. They are a product that people are purchasing. So it's not policing someone ran some random crossdresser's uh, outfit. No, it is criticizing the fucking product that is being set ahead. This is just like reducing the argument down to a point. Fucking hell. 1k viewers any random moment you tune into their stream. Like, the, this is the most brain dead argument, and I see it coming from so many people. Like, I, I just. It blows my mind when it comes from, like, large streamers. And it makes me fucking concerned that they don't realize that what they are is a product rather than a person. And that when, when, when Polly is criticizing Finster, she's not fucking policing a person's uh, choices to wear women's clothes. Because I'm sure Polly would have absolutely zero issue with any man choosing to wear women's clothes. That's just put it, you know what that is? This is the Vorsh shit. This is Vorsh shit. This is putting things in a, in, in a fucking vacuum and not paying attention to any of the nuance. This is saying, this is, oh, fucking hell, oh. Ah, oh, that's the dumbest shit ever. Phobic tropes as an edgy way to grow your platform as a system. So wait, 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 you're just going to completely ignore that, that it's like, what are you yes. Are you trying yeah, yeah, you can fucking ignore that. You can ignore that point. Seriously. Finn's got a YouTube channel that's entirely um, devoid of anything. It's strictly Minecraft shit. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait. Are you getting confused between Finster and and oh no it is. <laughs> yeah. Why is it always Minecraft streamers? Oh no wait, no wait, wait. You missed it. You missed it. Look at these dudes go! How much did they make? Oh what the hell? Hello! Want to see a magic trick? I'm pretty much the same. Oh, really? I have such a good idea. I have such a good idea. No one can tell me otherwise. Anyway, so, I noticed this really weird thing when I was getting an Yeah. Uh... An island. I go to my island, and it's all peaceful and stuff. The trees aren't made out of real wood, which is incorrect. The trees aren't made out of wood, dude. The mountains aren't even made out of mountain. They're made out of clay, bro. And I started to notice, oh, wow, there's a lot of people on my island right now. A lot of name tags down there. So I jumped down. What the hell are you? Who are you? They're still wearing fake eyelashes. You! They never used to be these. I'm gonna police him! You're not allowed to wear fly <laughs> fake eyelashes. You're not allowed. Because the trans community says so. You're not allowed. Rude. <laughs> Skies. And there's island levels. And when I talk in chat, it says L1. What does that mean? It's a little cave. Hey, buddy. Click to exchange this resource for island level points. Two. This became the meta. There's so many of these in the economy. It's just finding one. Hello, buddy. I'm on his island. Hey, dude. What do you want from me? I want one. I want one real bad. Marriage. And a banknote. I can't. Honestly, like, I, I feel so, like, um, missed for, um, on, on this stuff. Like, for me, like, he looks like a fucking child, so I'm not, I, I, yeah, mm, hmm, hmm. Um, uh, waiting for vids, uh, you look forward to a new season of your show, if there's any more of these, gonna break the economy. All right, let's start by newest first comments. Gay alert, use hoppers to make easy, easy money. Get a little bit of a true blade grinder. I'm trying to think that maybe this guy is a bit gay. Uh, server IP, why do you look like a woman? Are you gay? Are you gay? You can compare 2 million to the amount of soaps Johnny has. I'm confused about something. What are your pronouns? Uh, red remains. Uh, are you a boy or girl? Uh, how do I enter the... Are you a girl? You are a bad person. Your server does bad things. Get a job. The fuck is that? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> profile pic <laughs> checks out. Uh, pink spawn should be the pink panther. Quest about skeletons. So basically, you've got tra you've got. Uh, the I see more people attack being homophobic, right? Oh, twenty two. Fucking hell, yeah. That's way too young. I am not interested. No, no. But like, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Most replayed. Let's 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 see Got what this is. Such a good is. pick. Watch this. Flash shards. I'm currently at three thousand six hundred eighty. Mind these. Mind you as well. Three thousand seven hundred, baby. <laughs>
I want a really powerful island. Let's level this thing up. We can go to level 100 and it's not that bad. <laughs> People are congratulating me, kind of. You now get 200. How much is that? Oh, <laughs> I can't afford that. Can I do 150? Yes, but I do want to use the rest of my money. I've been grinding so often and people are actually She's using my farm. The only thing Fucking is hell, I have no young. way to consistently make money on my own. I need these robots working. Why isn't why isn't Polly talking about like the uh, the 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 youth aspect of this thing, huh? Hmm? 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 Yeah, you know, uh, you know, like Finn should stop because because he's uh, ma he he's like capitalizing on like people who are into you know the younger type, you know, and causing problems for that. It's just like how deep does this go? What are, what are the outcome? What are the outcomes? What are the realities? Uh, what do we want to see from this? Honestly, there. This is this is just your standard Minecraft content that I would have watched ten years ago. Like Fucking who cares? Who cares? Oh fucking hell, what is the problem? What do we want to see? I mean I'm more I have more of a problem on this thing here. Buy skyblocky.com, sixty percent sale. Hmm. To answer for somebody what somebody said. I mean, fuck. Do you want me to go through every dumb fuck? I mean, I don't even think that's a bad point necessarily. But do you want me? Do you want me to, you you me to, you want me to go through? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Like, okay, do you want me to answer for everything that everybody has? I said? think I think that's a terrible point, uh, careful is that you shouldn't have even raised up. That's just doing it. That you're you're doing abortionism. You're doing abortionism. You're trying to trap people in a rhetorical trap that doesn't work. Um, and and uh, Polly doesn't have to respond to that i did because i have the words for it but like no, you shouldn't expect people to have the words to like uh, describe why your point is shit because it's shit careful it's like it's not policing a random person it's criticizing a fucking product oh my gosh you know a new barbie came out and people are criticizing um criticizing it for its skin color oh my gosh you want to do you want to police barbie for like being able to tan herself oh my gosh what an awful person it's a fucking product holy shit Ed, that you sort of said get the fuck out of here why don't you if you think that i'm a real person if you think that kevils is a real person if you think that polly is a real person then you need to fucking learn about polly about um Parasocial relationships and products and the way that we are expected to be crea content creators under capitalism. It's we are selling you a product. We are not. We are not real people. We're not real people. If I criticized Polly for her red hair because I think that it like um it, it's erasing red haired people, right? I'm not fucking policing Polly's choices um in what color to dye her hair as a fucking person. I am criticizing the product that she is displaying on screen. This argument is dumb. Stop making it. Of, uh, Wait, when did I say that? Why I never you, said that. Why I don't really believe you were real if you did want to hit Discord Hangouts off stream. That'd be pretty I cool. Could, I, could, I, could explain to you <laughs> I wish why, I could do this full time. Uh, uh, may uh, actually have some merit, but it's going to have to have a more nuanced discussion, but we can't even get there. Uh, that's it. Finster needs to be cancelled, and I need to get have have all of his uh, platform. That That's the real... That's the praxis. The praxis is we take the cross-dresser's money... <laughs> And give it to the trans people. When you're unable to... Um, actually, you know what I'm interested in? I, I, no, actually, you know what I'm not interested in? That? I was going to look up just then, um, uh, like, how much Finster, um, uh, like, donates and stuff, but, like, NGOs can get fucked. Except that somebody who does transphobic tropes as a cis person is having, has yeah. problematic content. Uh, like I, 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 but then the thing is, though, it's always... Sell it. You're always selling something to someone. That's 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 the issue under capitalism. Like there is always a level of separation between you and another another person. I had this conversation with my partner the other day. It was just like, he's like, oh, you're such a different person on stream. And I'm just like, really? I I I feel like I mask less on stream than I do in person because like. When it's someone in person that I have, like, a real close relationship with, I'm more likely to stop think about what I'm saying to them. Um, and you can actually see that in streams. When I when I realize that I might have offended someone in chat or, like, said something wrong, there will be a moment in which my mask I, I, I mask again because, I, like, I give a shit. <laughs> but again... 
this is all just selling product. It's much easier for me to sell um, what I've cultivated in and on myself than it is to um, uh, create a character. Um, I'm not able to create a character. I, I sell myself. But again, criticisms of me from other people is not a criticism of Lucy in the real world. It's a criticism of the product that I sell. Yeah, I'm impressed with why she thought Finn did what they do that she said. They said it's because Finn's making so much money doing it. That's a fucking... I mean, honestly, valid. Valid. You know? Fucking hell. Like, yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. I agree. I think it's a problem that he's making so much money um, off of... Uh, off of the uh, disenfranchisement of LGBTQIA plus people. Um... But you, you guys saw it as well. Like, there are more people being fucking homophobic than transphobic. So why are we talking just about trans people here? Like, transphobes don't even give a shit if you're gay or trans. They all think it's the same shit. Why do you think that um, the debate in America right now is revolving around um, at d drag, right? But attacking trans people over that when the two things aren't related. Why do you think that? Because they don't give a fuck. They see someone who's different and they want to uh, put them in a camp. If we can't get there, then we're not even at stage one. Like but, like, shutting down Finsta isn't going to solve that problem. So, like, I, I care. I agree with Polly on everything, uh, on a lot of the things. There are things I disagree with. Kefels as well. There's some dumbass shit that she said on stream. Like, it's lib shit. It's lib war shit. Uh, debate bro bullshit um, where you put things into a into a vacuum and don't consider the actual implications of what you're actually talking about um, But at the end of the day I care about the outcomes more than I care about You know how you feel about a subject like, like you're just you're sort of making yourself completely unable to understand the critique at all at that point. Yeah, honestly, honestly, like I'm I'm seeing more danger for the 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 gay community over this than um than trans people looking at the comments on uh, Finn's videos and uh, under his channel. Like, it's homophobic, not transphobic comments under there. Mostly. Sorry. And, like, that's another thing. Like, this gets forgotten a lot. Like I said earlier, a lot of my clientele was old, married, traditional, conservative men who weren't able to admit to themselves that they liked dick. And so, a trans woman prostitute um, is a uh, is 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 a loophole to that. Like you're forgetting, like people never stopped hating gay people. <laughs> yeah, include them in this conversation, maybe. Uh, like, I, how do, where are we drawing the line on what's just a? Uh, Finn is not a trans woman. Finn is yes. not going to be uh, harmed by the furtherance, or at least will be far less harmed than, than trans people by the furtherance of transphobic tropes. Um, I disagree with this. When it comes down to it, transphobes do not care. Like, Polly's already, uh, like, made the statement that transphobes don't see the difference between Finn and trans people, so assuming that trans women are going to be worse affected. Like, Polly, you are not going to get affected uh, negatively by um, Finn's content. Uh, I am not going to be affected negatively by Finn's content. People who are who are not privileged, minorities, black trans women are going to be affected the worst. How do we solve those problems? Not by bitching about a crossdresser on the internet. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Does that make, okay, but does that make Finn cis? Huh? So like a non okay, so so yeah. I don't know why you're playing word games with me here. Exactly. Not Dan word, randomly. Not a trans but, but the thing is, thing is done randomly. They won't because Finn is just still, still, as in 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 um his feminine state, cis passing. Like I can tell you this as a cis passing trans woman, we don't get attacked. Especially when we're wealthy 
and we're white and we live in good areas. The people that get attacked are black, tra poor trans women. Like, though, like, not just black, but people of color are the ones that die and get murdered. Just, like, overwhelmingly. Overwhelmingly. Look at all the people who die. All of the trans women that died in 2020, 2022, I think maybe one was white. So it's important to make that distinction when it comes to talking about that. They say if people attack them over the voice or if they know. Yeah, like, they're not, they don't care. They just see gay. They just see different. They just see put them in a camp. Oh, or at least I not, said not. Okay, then, then, then. What are you talking about then? I mean, you're trying I'm to have it both ways here. Define what's this is because you're trying to use Finn as cis as yeah. a way to dismiss. Yeah, it. but he says he says. He says he says, and he puts up on his. And the way he proves he says is he pins on his like uh, Twitter or whatever. Whatever. Here's my birth certificate, and I'm a man. Like, like, like one that that has a two prong effect. Is is one it says yeah. I'm cis. And like I said earlier, like that's that that is the one thing about myself that um, I have. Um, uh, well, I guess close. I'm pretty solid when it comes to um, uh, dysphoria at this point because I think I've just been traumatized so much by other things that I just my brain broke. But like, oh no! Also, not just brain broke. Uh, also, I'm privileged as fuck and never have to actually deal with uh, proper transphobia in my in my real life. I am privileged as fuck, and I do not have to deal with racism. I do not have to deal with transphobia. I do not have to deal with the homophobia in my real life. Very rarely do I ever have to deal with real problems that trans people face. And I would be willing to bet that, like, in their, in their like, day-to-day -day lives, the same would be true for Keffels and maybe poly people. Um, online is different, but to me, those are two different things. Like, that's, that's my product interacting with, um, with, with, uh, my, that's my online identity interacting with people I don't give a fuck about. Like, if I don't give a fuck about a person, it doesn't matter what they say to me over the internet, it's not going to affect me. Now, most of the issues you have to face is governmental. Even then, I, I live in Australia. Australia is pretty fucking, pretty fucking amazing when it comes to treatment of trans people currently. It, I, I am so fucking privileged. Like, when I talk about trans people, the issues that face trans people, I'm talking about the issues that face minority trans people people who are poor people who are and and yes i'm in i i am in thousands of dollars of debt but i'm still safe i'm not homeless i'm not ever going to be homeless in the same way that a minority uh who doesn't have access to um a middle class family to rely on that hasn't have the like be able isn't able to rely on my looks to get me through things isn't as like qualified as i am in so many areas like I cannot express how much intersectionality affects trans people. Um, and it's important to realize that when talking about these issues. I'm talking about the issues that other people face, not the ones that I do. But it also wings and nods to his trans audience. Look, I care about my assigned gender at birth just like you do. Like, I mean, like, you can't, what? I mean, come on. Like, are That's we going to be stupid and we'll just sort of, like, let him have it both ways no, just I'm because he's a stupid. large content creator? No, I'm not being stupid. I like, mean, I, think it's I hate being dogpiled as much as the next person, right? Like, right, uh, but it's uh, like, but... you're willing to, with your community and your mods, those are your mods who are just like, okay, I can police the behavior of, not, of gender nonconforming people. It's completely no. okay to do. No, and when that, I, that, that's not what's going on here. Careful ask you about this. Hell. You just get angry and say, oh, well, you think I can police because everything? That's a stupid you think that point. I can just control everything? But it's like, no. These are the people stupid. who moderate your You're community. You have a responsibility for that. They represent... Oh, fuck oh, off. Okay, okay, but hold on a second. Like, the essential argument here is not changed, and that tweet is essentially in line with what I'm saying. Like, you can't... You're saying that you can't, hold not on. a cross-dresser. Could you let me finish? The essential problem... It, like, whether or not he's a... Uh, cross -dresser like a is, uh, <laughs> say, saying he's not a cross-dresser, by the way, uh, ex I assume the sentiment behind that is that what he's doing is essentially appealing to the transphobic sensibilities of the average person and furthering transphobic tropes for content. That's not what cross-dressers do. Cross-dressers uh, dress, dress in uh, gender non-conforming ways and play with gender because...
this is the yeah this is this is this is this is a good way of explaining it like it, it, it like it kind of like the main point is a little bit lost in this but the basic thing is is that he's not just a crossdresser he is capitalizing on the disenfranchisement of lgbtqia plus people not just trans women but especially gay people and minority trans women because they are expressing themselves they are not trying to grow their platform at the expense of more marginalized people right just to sort of say Polly, you're trying to police people's people's no, presentation is incredibly bad faith like, well well it's just two completely different arguments you're sort of smashing together uh, well, that's, no, that's, that's careful. That's because you don't understand the difference between a person and a product. You're doing so, like, so, like, how am I doing that? Well, crossdresser is the person, product is what they are selling. Like, they are selling this fresh I mean, let's move past this point. Time trying to trying to like explain why furthering transphobic tropes is not that bad, and the only thing you're saying is I disagree, and you can't prove that. Uh, uh, uh. Which is which is wrong, and and you should never force some fucking no, member of a marginalized community to prove that furthering tropes that, that are harmful no, to them no, no, are no, somehow no. harmful to them. I mean, but now you're pivoting to, to something else. That trans people are somehow the arbiters of gender nonconformity when other people no. can express gender nonconformity okay. however they like. No one said that, Keffels. I don't know where you're getting that from, but like this is moving the argument away from the big problem. The problem is the fact that we have a system which which like rewards people for um, profiting off the disenfranchisement of gay people and like queer people. Like let's just say fucking queer people. I hate I hate having to do the LGBT plus pe like thing over and over again because I fumble my. Words no, I mean, no, no, that's a straw man. Like, trans people are the most able to detect and are the most uh, likely no. to fall no, victim that's... to the furtherance of transphobic tropes uh, that others use. Specifically, BIPOC trans women have it the worst. But, again, BIPOC gay people get it worse than white trans women. Intersectionality, baby! Gen C coming up a lot. Same thing as I live with CD. Wait, what's CD? Cross-dressing. G and C. Gender non-conforming coming up with same thing. Way to legitimize CD uh, without having to subscribe to actually be, being actually trying. None of this is your domain. Yeah, I mean, like it's easy to like honestly. This argument has nothing to do with cross-dressing or gender non-conforming. It has to do with, um, like, Keffels is trying to reduce the argument down to, um, like, individual individualism rather than considering uh, what Finster is as a product, which is the actual issue. The actual issues here are what is the product, what is being sold, and what the what are the effects of that. My issue with this whole debate is I still haven't heard an outcome. A, a, like a desire I, I i don't know what the point is you know that's the most annoying irritating thing about this conversation is there's no point to it like what is the outcome that keffels wants from this what's the outcome that um polly wants from this neither of them have seem to have that and keffels doesn't seem to understand the difference between a person and a product um and polly is not being clear with the outcomes that she's wanting and the way the, that she thinks that is the best way to move towards those things. And, like, she doesn't have to have that because, you know... And also, like, that's... Uh, having a platform to criticise uh, the, the product is important, but it's important to understand that... Be on the same page, that you're criticising a product. You're not policing gender non-conforming people by criticising Finster. You're, you're not. Finster isn't a random guy on the street cross-dressing. He is a product selling a product to people. And Polly is criticizing that product and trying to reduce it down to an individualist perspective is just pointless. Just, yeah, does Polly just want to, him to stop doing ha, huh, you're gay, because I feel it's more like he's hates, hates. Well, I mean, that's, see, the problem is Dan randomly, Vampire Hunter D, my eyes! Hello, welcome back. Um, that's the issue. Like, Polly hasn't been clear about that. 
enough for people to understand. Your eyes! You have two eyes. You have two of them. They bounced across my screen. Better pick those up. Who's to further whatever interests they have? Hmm. No. No, you, you it's just, no. you're not okay. even responding to what no. I'm saying. Because you, she doesn't well, have to. I mean, you're trying to straw man me. You're this. getting frustrated that I'm not falling for the straw man. I get that. But it's like, not a straw man argument. It's not a straw man argument. It's a misunderstanding. Like, you, <clears throat> you guys aren't understanding the the positions that you're standing on. Polly, you haven't explained your position or the outcomes that you want to see. Uh, Keffles, you're not even understanding the different, like, what um, Polly is uh, trying to criticize. Like, this is, a, this is what I would call in a relationship a failure to communicate. Straw man means. <clears throat> Okay, I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure where to go with this because I feel like I might, you know, you know, I might be being owned in the marketplace of ideas by the high school debate lord here. But, 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 like what? again, the fact remains. The fact remains that uh, that uh, when when members of the trans community uh, have a valid criticism here um, about yeah. about a, a and no one, no one should, be, no one can fucking argue that they have a valid, valid fucking problem with this. A non-trans <clears throat> content creator <throat> who has made their fucking uh, uh, entire platform from day one, essentially, you know, doing transphobic type trap content and the like. Uh, yep. <laughs> Saying, look, I think you are, uh, you are, you are for your own interests. I feel like Polly is just trying to say this is a problem. In and of itself, and I think that's what people misunderstand about Polly is like she, she, she doesn't ha necessarily have to fucking want an outcome. She's talking about an issue, and that's fucking perfectly fine, and valid, and logical. Like I just, I just, my brain always goes like, okay. But what do we want to do with this shit? And I understand that that's not a way that a lot of people think. Furthering, Doesn't make me better or worse than anyone. It's just different. The, the very kind of tropes and very kind of beliefs that are harmful to people like me. Like, it is super disappointing that some of the larger trans content creators, which which I hasten to add, are much smaller than the uh, the trans quote-unquote content creator who Finn is, uh, are completely unwilling to hear that this... Uh, this Yeah, fair enough. Mm, fucking yeah, fair cop, fair cop. <laughs> I mean, it's super disappointing. I just think she wishes it was a trans person doing what Finn was doing. How much she brings out that they're on trans? Well, I mean, yeah, like cool. I mean, like yeah, that's a valid criticism. I if the, the fact that a man can don the appearance of a trans woman and uh, exploit that market with more effectiveness than a trans woman can that says oh, that that kind of says something there doesn't it that's a valid criticism to have like but are we criticizing finster the person are we criticizing finster the product or are we criticizing a system which rewards cishet white men over LGBTQIS plus people, queer people, women, minorities. Can we make this conversation about the systems that are creating these problems? Because honestly, like, poly people has been valid. Hey, yeah, he's making him some money. That's that's a valid criticism to make. He's making a shit. He's making shit tons more money off of sex work than I ever did. That's a fair criticism to make. Just uh, we need to try to fix the public view on trans men so that uh, are only okay with when they say "Don't worry, I'm a guy," and only complaining when they want to be a she/her. Maybe. I just think that the problems that we're seeing here in the product, which is Vinsta, is more systemic than individual. 
And I just want to, like, Keffels is, like, so much, so, like, solid on the individualistic uh, perspective that she can't see any further than the idea of policing cross-dressers, which is not what's going on here. I'm sorry, Keffels. It's not what's going on here. This, that's a stupid argument. Polly is still further along in that she can criticize the product, but I don't think that she's far enough along in criticizing the systems which are creating the product. The problem is that if Finster disappears tomorrow, someone else is going to fill that gap in the market. The problem is that where there is a market for homophobia and transphobia right now. That's the issue. The fact that these markets can exist. Always love to see other British anarchists on Twitch. The amazing wolf skeptic. British anarchists. I guess, yeah, I'm technically British, I guess. I've got Scott. I've got my my parents my my uh my dad dad's family was from Scotland but my mum was uh Polish and English. But I've grown up in uh, Australia as a colonizer. <laughs> I'd find some other fanboy because there's people that want basically a trans woman but you calling them mass pronouns, yeah. yeah. And that's where we are right now. That's where we are right now. I just see Finster as a jumping off point from where we are right now in a more positive way than I think Polly does. But that's not saying that anything that Polly has criticized is like a unfair criticism. I haven't heard an unfair criticism from Polly. I have disagreements over drag. I have disagreements over that. I I do think that drag is effectively the same as minstrel in in, in, in a vacuum. Drag is the same as minstrel performances creating a caricature of femininity. It is a misogynistic act. However, the outcomes of that are positive in ways that minstrel performances will never be. Your family is from Wilshire. Wilshire, where's Wilshire? Ooh. I need to change that um, my um, username again, but that means I'm gonna have to change all of my fucking links again. Ugh. Uh, but yeah. Anyway. And instead, like you're just strong. I want to see if they get and, and, further than uh, that. Saying something that Vlad yeah. said. Uh, well, we, we, same shit. <laughs> it's same. It's the same shit. I'm 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 white and I benefit from uh, colonialism. That's that that's about the same as being British. Completely out of the context of what that we're talking <laughs> about right now. Yeah, I mean, your your community seems to really have an issue with gender non-conforming people. I mean, you, you could keep, keep lying and saying that. that. No, hold on a second. You're lying I, now. I have the, You're lying. I have the I mean, they, I have the right here. Wait, 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 wait I missed that. People. I mean, you could keep lying in the context of what that we're talking about right now. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, oh. I mean, your your community seems to really have an issue with gender non-conforming people. No, they don't. No, they don't. That is a lie. No, that's not even a lie. That's a misunderstanding of the situation. Clownery is in putting on a costume, costume to perform. Exactly. Things can be the same uh, in practice, but have different outcomes. You know? Like, putting a... Putting someone in prison for, like, stealing um, from a bank to feed his family versus putting a capitalist um in a uh, minecraft guillotine like the outcomes are similar but like no sorry the outcomes are completely different but like the punishment is similar you know just the outcomes are completely different i mean you could keep lying and saying that no hold on a second you're lying now the, you're lying i have the receipt i mean they, I have the receipt right show here. me the receipt what, your mod, okay all right so like you're, your you're, saying this. you're literally straw manning they're like you're like one of your mods polly says this and i'm going to interpret this way and i'm going to ignore everything you said and then hold that i mean you were in the Get you were in the, the same conversation here. you could have told oh, your mod not to do that okay all right so i need to, i need to answer for for every straw man interpretation that you come up with about somebody that's from my community and said that was good thinking on your you're feet moderators. there. You are just coming up with another way to silence criticism at this point. Like, you're not going to say, was, Polly, you're just jealous. No. Uh, Polly, instead, your community is terrible. The majority of this conversation has been me asking you questions and you getting mad at me asking questions. Well, I want to see her chat now. <laughs> again, I don't think that's an accurate representation of the discussion because your questions, uh, 
uh, don't really follow from the discussion. You just, you know, like and that. This is my issue. Like, like neither of them, both of them are in this conversation so much. They're not seeing the disconnect in their worldviews, and that's where this disconnect is. Careful's is conflating um, individualistic uh, perspectives with um, what is essentially a criticism of over a product, not a person. <laughs> so I keep I saying that, but like. Do you think that it's the that same as drag queens? Because that means that we need to work towards well, people knowing drag is part of clownery rather than it's women. Is it the same thing about yeah, furthering transphobic tropes? Because I drag queens that are right, that may matter. Yeah, this is... I, 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 that's what I mean by saying like that. I think that Finster, Finster's. Um, is benefiting from transphobic rhetoric, 100%. I just think the outcome of that might end up being more positive in the long term. Again, I find it a much smaller problem than I do with capitalism in general, (laughs) allowing these sort of, like, exploitations of... um, exploiting uh, transphobic... uh, transphobia and uh, homophobia. It's fine, but... They have more to do with the trans community. They have a higher duty to represent the trans community. Wait, so it's weird wait, so you you think, your own community. wait a second. Oh, Are you God. saying that tr- that trans people have the have a higher obligation to 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 like? This is this is this is this is this is fucking debate bro brain dead bullshit. Is the idea that um, Keffels thinks that th- does Keffels think that like leftist content creators are, are actually praxis? making videos online is anything more than entertainment that this debate did anything more than just provide people with half an hour of like the lols like you're not god's gift to humankind just because you have a fucking following <laughs> you're you're an entertainer you're not a fucking you're you're not a fucking politician you're not like a you're not actually Causing a revolution. You're not making people's lives better overall. You are capitalizing off of transphobia in a similar way to how Finster does. You're just doing it from the politics and uh, drama side of things. You are profiting from the disenfranchisement of trans women in the same way. The difference is you're trans and you don't take off the transmiss by getting a haircut. <laughs> it's the uh, same joke. Uh, uh, control their p- potential, like tr- uh, tr- furtherance of transphobic tropes than than uh, transphobes do. I just others. wish, I just wish that um, Polly would realize the di- like would be able to just point out the different. Like it's so simple to d- to debunk the argument that Keffels has done. It's frustrating me. Transcommute. It's frustrating me. Well, okay, so when you say transphobes, are you talking about Finn? Cause no, I'm just trying to say, like, what you said is trans people have to behave themselves, essentially. And I'm like, wait a second, for what? Wait, wait, trans people have yeah, to so behave themselves it, because, and, yeah. and like, uh, somebody like Finn or whatever, or even a transphobic hmm. person can but do But what I'm, what I'm trying to say is, though, though me, Keffels, and Polly are the same in that we are trying to profit from outrage culture and politics. Like... If there was no product that was capitalizing off the disenfranchisement of trans people, then this conversation wouldn't take place, and they wouldn't be able to profit from it. That's my point. Is like that they they are profiting off of this in the same way. They want because they're not trans. Like this is fucking great. Systems, systems systems of the problem. (laughs) Okay, try again. Let me know what is. Go ahead. If you're a trans person and you have a larger platform. It, you do have an obligation to some extent in order to make sure that you're doing a good enough job representing trans people as a whole. Cause like a- and Polly does a good job of that. And, and you do as well, Keffels. What's the issue? A lot of people are going to see you, and that's going to be their first, oh, their yeah. first, it's, it's like the first person they see that's trans. It's falling apart. But that's the essential argument, is the person who doesn't know anything is going to think, uh, you know, because they don't really understand the nuance in the way that uh, you do or, or a lot of people do, is that uh, Finn is not actually trans representation. So when he does trap, no, tra- trap Finn related, hold on, let me finish for fuck's sake. What, I didn't say this. I said, like, it's quite obvious, by the way, that uh, uh, or, I mean, the fact that you can't really conceive of the idea that the average person who comes across Finn's content being 100% clear that this is not sort of trans-related or at least trans tropey yeah, related they, content. Yeah, they just think that it's it's gay shit. That's, that's what it is to them. <laughs> I, 
Ah, <laughs> oh, love you, Nola. Welcome back, friend of the show. That leans <laughs> heavily into fucking trap discourse and instead saying, you much smaller... Isn't trans- this is annoying? It's more, almost like I should I should be put my picture in here or like, or like just flip the screen somehow because it's just like frustrating to me that like Kevils is the furthest away from the point um, and uh, Polly is much closer to the point, but like the point is the systems that are allowing this stuff. Creators like, tear down capitalism and and don't say anything already. about Finn because he's not trans. Put me out of work. Why are you being so aggressive towards me? Like I haven't raised my voice at you once, and you're telling me to fuck off, and you're yelling. What? That, that's that's Polly people's content. <laughs> like what? Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, fucking hell. Fucking hell. Can't get, can't get the point you want, so you're going to, like, tone police. You can move straight into tone policing. Oh, look, I'm being, I'm, I'm being, uh, calm with my voice now. Therefore, my point is better because you mad, bro. It's the you mad bro argument now. Fucking hell, it's falling Are you going to answer my question or not? He wasn't listening to the press question. No, I'm just kind of speechless by like this uh, this aggression. You weren't listening I thought to we could have a because, civil conversation yeah. about this. Yeah, tear down capitalism so we can just be are hot and sexy in peace. Are you not going to answer my question? Can you repeat the question? Like I was right, kind so, of shocked ever since that. All right, so it seems like what you're doing here is you're saying, uh, "Hey, smaller trans content creators that are harmed by transphobic tropes, make sure you mind your p's and q's." And uh, Finn, who to the average dumb fuck looks quite a lot like a trans content creator or trans-esque content creator you can do whatever you want even if it harms the trans community that's what it sounds like to me you're saying how does finn look like a trans content creator to the average person who is just sort of sort of clicking around i mean i thought i mean i thought he was a trans content creator until i sort of dug into the content i was like oh i guess he's not but these are a lot of trans So, like, how, wait, wait, question, what was the question again, Kevils, Kevils, Kevils? You're saying. How does Finn look like a trans content creator? To the average person who is just sort of, sort of, clicking around. I mean, I thought, I mean, I thought he was a trans content creator until I sort of dug into the content. I was like, oh, I guess he's not. But these are a lot of transphobic tropes that we would take strays from. Like, this seems to be a super easy argument. Like, I, I don't understand, like, the fucking resistance to recognizing, uh, uh, the, the... So to, to fill you in, Nola, basically, Finster, they're, they're arguing over, uh, Finster being a crossdresser, um, who makes, who basically capitalizes over, um, capitalizes on, um, the whole lol 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 I'm a trap thing, basically. Yeah. It's the ha ha you're gay trope. Like, that's what he capitalizes on. It, it's just, it's just, it's just that stuff. Um, and yeah, it's problematic as fuck. Yeah, it, it's definitely, um, worth criticizing. 100% it's worth criticizing, um, but you can make the same criticism, in my opinion, you can make absolutely the same criticisms against uh, Finster that you make, can make against um, drag queens that profit off of drag, um, and minstrel shows that profit off of minstrels. The difference is that each of these things have different outcomes to the uh, relevant communities involved. Like, obviously, minstrel shows nothing positive about that drag lots of positive things and outcomes from that it's been around long enough that we know this finster it's a product if you have a problem with um finster um um oh by the way it don't, don't, doesn't look so flat yeah that's a that's a thing that's a um that, that that's a uh they're, they're fake breasts like but the, the same things that um like notice how um he's wearing a collar by the way as well as um a a thick strapped um uh bralette or like top like that's where you hide the seam lines for the um uh, fake breasts so 
thing. You can you can use um, uh, other like makeup and stuff to hide the stuff, but it's much more effective to use a that sort of stuff. But yeah, um, yeah, latex boob chest pad. Yep. But yeah, um, and neither and the the both of them are missing the point. Keffels is missing like the fucking. I think I think. Um, Polly is missing the trees. Um, no, missing the forest. Um, Ke Keffels doesn't even see trees. Like fuck. The bad effects on people like you and me that a larger yeah, latex boob chest pad is content good. creator. Uh, they're sort of leaning into trap related content. Like like why that's oh, a yeah. problem and no. is. Drag has given us so much cool stuff. Like drag gave us found like um contouring. You're welcome, drag. Perfectly reasonable to call. No, that. thank you, drag. The average effect that Finn has is overwhelmingly positive for the trans community. In fact, I've talked to a lot of the trans people in the uh -huh. community. Yeah, but that doesn't answer the question. Like, the critique can remain, right? You can do plenty of good. Uh, uh, and I'm not even going to say there's no good that's done there. I'm just saying, like, you, uh, uh, it is a perfectly reasonable critique. Hey, old Lennon. Finn, as a non-trans content Lennon, creator, huh? who, to the average person who's clicking around, no. uh, it's not going to be obvious to, leaning into trap-related content uh, is problematic. And you should not do that. No, I just think it's a silly argument. No, really. okay, it's silly. Have to do which... Yeah, it is silly. <laughs> All right. silly. Okay, just let him do more transphobia. Do... That's fine. Because it's not transphobia. Keffels is Keffels is just a lib. Like again, like there's a lot that you can criticize about Keffels, but like you can't deny that like within the system that we have, she does a lot of good. Like not the best we've got, but like net positive again like i see finster as a net positive i see cavils as a net positive i i fucking love poly people like i'm allowed to disagree Finn's, Finn's impact lennon is, is indeed based for both trans people although and... it is hilarious how much he hates um anarchists but like to be fair at the time when he was criticizing anarchists anarchists were cringe as fuck for cis men okay so let me ask you this is 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 uh is is calling a trans person a trap is that transphobic uh, yeah, it is, but how, no, how's Finn doing that? Finn's not doing it. Wait a second. Like, like, he's doing the thing, and the point that Polly is making is that uh, Finn is indistinguishable to, like, queer phobes from, like, just being gay shit. They don't care, and that's Polly's, Polly people's point, and if you're going to be deliberately obstinate about saying, well, Finster never identified as a trans person, therefore your argument is valid. That's the same as dick writing a dictionary to me. Second, you don't think he makes trap related jokes and say, yeah, saying- Wait, she removed her, she, she removed her like anti ML video. Cause that, 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 um, that anti fucking Luna video was cringe as fuck. Oh yeah, I'm I, I hate I hate Marxism now because I saw someone smoking in Cuba. Fuck off. I don't think he yeah, does because, that. Um yeah, he does. But it's okay. fine. he can do that. He can make That's transphobic fine. jokes, why? That's not a transphobic joke. That's not transphobic jokes. Traps don't own the word trap. I mean trans people do not own the word trap. That's not well, true. Well, right, but like you know, like white people don't own the N-word, but that doesn't make it. What the good. fuck does that have to do with what we're talking about? Well, the fact you can't see it, I think uh, sort of explains the disconnect here. Like, what? like, like you can't use slurs or or like wink and nod toward slurs or like problematic tropes that. Are yeah, like fucking hell. Like making it okay to make trap jokes as long as you're not trans. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, but if you're a cishet white guy capitalizing off of trap jokes. How is that different from why? How is that different from Andrew Callahan cap capitalizing off of uh, uh, the disenfranchisement of uh, black people and bi bipoc culture? Hey, see, I tied it back around. Finally, enough of these white women. Let's talk about the real shit: cultural appropriation that are, that are targeted at a marginalized community. If you're I not still a need to look into that. Expect to not receive criticism. Circle for it, back. At the very least. What did? Okay, how so... is this hard? <laughs> yeah, I mean, Jesus. How is what hard? Because how is this hard? People who aren't trans can totally use the word trap. Oh, as... okay, all right. That's not a transphobic.
slur. Oh. I think that's enough internet for today. <laughs> Seriously? Seriously? Yeah, I mean, Jesus! How, what hard because How is this hard? People who aren't trans can totally use the word trap. Oh, as... okay. Right. Um, I, I, uh, what's my take on food being a transphobic slur? Um, I don't know enough about the cultural implications within Japan to really have a deep understanding of that but futanari is people it are is a trope of people with both male and female parts and they are always treated and shown as women so it's it's yeah yeah I mean, done randomly, like, that's true, but, um, well, I mean, like, I'm not Fuda. I wish I had the, but I wish I had all the parts, honestly, and could actually call myself Fuda, I guess. But, like, I don't, like, culturally, they're, they're, it's different. There's, there is, there are different cultural implications for, um, using foreign language to describe, um, these things. It's like, like in some languages uh, in some culture in like in korea the korean language you self-identify gender you can't you don't apply gender to other people's language you don't say oh look at her over there um they uh, supply their own gendered language like th there's yeah it's complicated as fuck <laughs> and i don't i don't have enough of an understanding um what? You don't have the same sensitivity feelings? Ugh. There is surgery for that? What the fuck? Don't tell me that shit. <laughs> don't tell me that shit. I might actually want it. <laughs> the bowl shack. I knew I kept that thing around for a reason. That's not a transphobic slur. Oh, Jesus. It can Use the word trap. Oh, as, okay. All right. That's not a transphobic slur. Hey, hey, yo, 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 my BIPOC people in chat, can I say the N word as long as it's not being insulting? Fucking hell. What the fuck? Kevils, what the fuck? What the fuck? Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah, shame, no. Yeah. I'm pretty fucking sure. Hey, Nola, I understand where you're coming from, but I am not going to do that. Sorry. <laughs> fucking hell. Ah! You're not using the nerve endings from your dick, it's going to also put it like if you want that for yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to wait for transplants, honestly. If transplants become a thing. Jesus. It can be used as one. All right. If you're calling a trans person a trap, yeah, that's... Okay. That can be used as a slur, like, but... It is a slur. It, like, here, y'all, y'all, like, yeah, trap is a fucking slur. And saying that it's contextual, it's it's not contextual, fucking hell. Fucking hell, like, it's, it's a slur. And the fact is that... We call them minstrel shows, we don't call them in N-word shows, okay? That the, the, I guess that's the best explanation I can fucking come up with for dumbasses who don't understand how, like, implications work. And if you want to dick write a dictionary on shit, like Keffels is doing now, like, go ahead. Holy fuck. All right, so, like, if you... So, like, other slurs... Uh, so, if slurs are... If, if transphobic slurs are used uh, by a, a, a non-trans person in a way that uh, is highly suggestive as to, like, you know, the, the transphobic slur, but, you know, they say, I, I don't mean it, you know, like, I don't mean it that way, that it's fine with you.
I feel like it depends on the context and who it's being said to. Okay, so yeah, it, you know, so they, let's say somebody uh, makes trap related jokes and, you know, uh, in a content creator setting. And in general, this person is not trans, but to the average transphobe, they're not going to know one way or the other. Uh, uh, so, like, so like, you know, the average transphobe is going to look at that and say, like, look, see, traps admit that they're trap. I knew it. And they'll come over here and, uh, you, know, you know, to my stream and assume I'm a trap too. I don't know why, Paul, you're saying you're not a trap because uh, people like you or people, you know, who are essentially you uh, are fucking admitted. And this is fucking valid criticism. Like, Polly doesn't say anything fucking wrong here. Hey, Polly, why don't you admit you're out there trapping and trapping tra trappy trappers and everybody? But I'm not going to get trapped into that. I'm not going to get trapped. Uh, in a fucking... I'm a trans person. I can do it. It's okay for me. Uh, like, N-word cake. Holy fuck. Fucking hell, it's cringe as fuck. But like, um, yeah, like there, this is so easy to fall into the trap of like individualism, and this is what lib lib debate bro streamers always do: is they get they dick ride dictionaries, they put things in vacuums until like all you're talking about is the individualistic person on person violence. And if it's not individualistic, if it's not one person doing a thing to another one person, then it doesn't exist to them. And it's that that's not the issue. We're talking about a product here. We are criticizing a product. Finster is not a person, it's a product that is being sold using transphobic like content in order to sell the product. Oh. Automod. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna leave I'm gonna lo leave that one um gone. Um, but I'll read it out. It got worse because the ones I saw and still hear use C word instead. Yeah. So I think I think what would be a good solution to this is just more education around it. And instead of trying to say that Finn is somehow harmful for doing <laughs> yeah. something that doesn't really have to do with trans. C word. So yeah. the entire community out there of gender non-conforming <laughs> men who use the term trap and cross dress. And All right, so I honestly I'm happy for them. Wait a second, you're happy? Wait, 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 wait. hold on. You're happy that people further uh, trap uh, trap tropes? I'm happy that we live in a year where more men feel that they can do gender non-conforming behaviors and wait, cross dress and you're talk talk about it publicly. You're, talk you're talking about something different. You're talking about one man who like happened to no, re happen to discover. An entire... oh, no, 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 Okay, but you're okay. You're talking who about cares? one man who happened no, upon. You're not talking about. Me. You're not talking about the general. You're talking about individualistic perspectives. You're talking about like poly people trying to police cross dresses, which is not what's going on here. A whole thing. Once again, this isn't about just Finn. My argument was about the entire community Look, of gender non-conforming men that cross dress and. Yeah, but that's not. That has nothing. To, yeah, that's that's reducing the topic into something that uh, is beside the point. Craig, uh, cross dresses aren't perpetuating anti-trans shit in the way that the product Finster is. They also use the term trap. Okay, well, I don't, I can't don't speak use to the every term. example of everybody using uh, trap tropes, but I gotta tell you, um, it, it should be suspect slur. from somebody who is not going to be the target of the, of the transphobic harm of the trap slur, which is a specific slur against and and Finster's not going to be a target of that of that violence. And trans. But you're talking about how suspenders are hot. Hey, I got those. Ow. Women. It's a tra it's a trans misogynistic slur. So if you're not a trans woman and you're using it, it's going to be suspect. I'm not saying you never could, but but you certainly, you're not certainly, men aren't certainly, like certainly, certainly, target of violence. <laughs> Like, I mean, I mean, are you gonna keep? Hey, you should look at you should look at one of what 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 the name of one of our most popular cheeses was uh, here in Australia until like the last five years. Well, I'm adding me into next week. So like, you know, okay, first Finn of all, first is not. Of all, you don't know Finn what the term straw man means. Second of all, there have been over 370 attacks on drag events in 2022. That's against gender nonconforming men that cross dress. How the fuck does okay. that have to do with trans people? We're all in the same fight, and you picking this fight is harmful for our entire community. So oh shit! Oh fuck off, Keffels. Shut up! Oh. Let Finn do all the transphobic shit he wants. That's what your take is. I didn't say that, but if you want to, yeah, take it that's that what way, you're you saying. Yeah, that's what you're saying. Keffels, uh, Ke I mean, yeah, we'll make enough. a good clan. I got to do the clan <laughs> I thing. Mean, okay. Um, transphobic tropes, I guess, are terrific. Uh, you heard it here first from Keffels. Yeah. No. No. We heard. We heard it earlier. Like tra Keffels doesn't think that uh, trap is a slur. Oh. <laughs> Do they sell that cheese at thugs? Oh fuck, probably.
Oh, did you look it up? I, <laughs> it's called Cheer now. They called it Cheer. Uh, they renamed it to Cheer, but it uh, used to be called something different, starting with a C. Well, I'm glad that that's your takeaway from the situation, I guess. Why? All right. Well, I appreciate the chat. Yeah, it was. All right. Have a nice one. You too. <laughs> All right, that was something else. Look at the chase thing, didn't even know it was even a slur. Yeah, yeah, the starting, uh, starting with a C, chicken. Oh, popular chain? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, no, no. <laughs> That's not good. All right, um, hmm. How are we doing for time? Half an hour. You know what? I actually might call it that, that for a day for ne for today, um, so I can get back to some work. But yeah, that was uh, really fucking uh, informative. Like, yeah, like again, I disagree with the outcomes. Obviously, like I I see Finster, like I do see the criticisms, and I think that uh, definitely people who criticize Finster should not be fucking shut down or tone policed by other people um who are in more privileged um who are much more privileged you know than other people Keffels doesn't Keffels is never going to see the same um amount of uh like violence that um minority trans people um are subjected to yeah she's definitely been the target of uh, internet communities but she is a she can afford to um survive that shit but yeah the, the door is cartoonishly racist evil but um the don't be mean to work is the oh fucking hell oh for fuck's sake that's awful oh but yeah mm. Criticizing the products people create is legit as fuck, and there should abs just as much as um, Polly and her community and the people who agree with Polly um, should be given the platform and the uh, communities to complain about people using transphobic content in order to make money off of that content, like that. Criticism is absolutely fair enough. That's that's legit as fuck. My issue with Keffels in that debate was that all she was trying to do was trying to make it a poly versus crossdressers argument, which just if you've watched any of Polly's content or know like any of Polly's views or like just no, no. It's not an argument against a community. It's not Polly versus... Um, and, and also bringing up her mod, with the things her mods say in chat and, like, uh, completely misrepresenting what was being said. Again, they're not attacking crossdressers. Crossdressers are not under the fucking spotlight here. A product that profits off of transphobia and homophobia and queerphobia is on trial here. The product. My issue is what should really be on trial here is the fact that people can 
profit off of the disenfranchisement of minority groups at all. Because until we deal with those power structures, we aren't going to have any real solution to people just making profiting off of this stuff. Like I always say, if you want to put sex workers out of a job, you need to support the LGBTQIS plus community. Because you're going to see less people seeking out, um, like, sexual experiences that they're unable to uh, talk to their partners about. You're going to cut down on a market there, a need that people have to express their sexuality that they can't get because of the stigma in society. These are systemic problems we're dealing with, and Kevils is, the fact that Kevils is unable to see anything past a individualistic perspective just shows how much of a lib she is. And Polly is definitely further along there, but again, like I, I really want to hear about the outcomes. What, what outcomes does Polly want to see from this conversation? And at the end of the day, I really, really want you to take away from this that like this is a fucking shit show. This is just a fucking performance. What you've just watched here today is just a performance. It's just a people, a bunch of people, entertainers. And you might like some of these entertainers, but you haven't gotten anything out of this more than entertainment. And if you think that watching and supporting your favorite content creators is some kind of praxis, you need to go back to school and read a book and get out in your community and do some real shit. I think that watching me and other content creators is fucking awesome, but you need to understand that it is nothing but entertainment and it does not change the world. It won't change the world. The deconstruction of capitalism might. You lifting up someone's mood, talking to a friend, giving someone a hug, might change their life. But watching me and agreeing with Keffels, agreeing with Polly People, agreeing with Vorsch, agreeing with your favorite entertainer isn't going to change the world. It's just not. So yeah, I'm just going to leave you with that thought. Um, until next time, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself and take care of someone else. And uh, yeah, I think I might just play a video game tomorrow. What about Cyberpunk? Or City Skylines. Who knows? Let's play it by ear. Let's have some fun. All right. Bye-bye.